like anyways. they call themselves Tiny Meat Gang. <laughs> yeah, and mean, everyone's mad at me. Yeah. <laughs> you were just helping the brand, really. Welcome back to the Just Trish podcast. Oh my god! I was saying we're in a guest drought, but honestly, we're not because we have our one and only guest. I love you Tana. so much, Mojo. It's funny. I feel like um, we are in the most severe guest drought. Like today, you're coming on canceled, and I'm going on a whole tangent about how like you are our only guest. I don't give that's a fuck I'm anymore. Saying, that's what I'm saying too. At this point, it's just Tana and Brooke can be on, and that's it. Like, what? What is that? Like, I feel like there's like moments in time where everyone wants to come on, and then it's like yes. you literally couldn't pay someone. That's exactly a million how dollars. we are. Because it was like a time where we were like filming like I, every day, right? It was like seven days a week we were filming with guests. And I was like, I'm so tired. I cannot do any more guests. But guests were just pat. Can I come on? Can I come on? Yes. And yes. now it's like I DM people, like literally the most random people from like 10 years ago that are doing absolutely nothing. And they're like, I can't. I'm busy. Like, and oh, like, I'll see if I can next yeah. month. Or it's like always like, do you ever get people who are like just straight up afraid? Or is that just me? I haven't got. Oh, we were just talking about this on the last Hot Topics. It's like, I definitely get people that just ignore me, but never like. Not to bring it up, like you know, the situation, afraid. yeah, where they're yeah. like, actually, not my thing. That would like crush me if someone said that. I just, Have you gotten that more than, like, not as not as like bad, okay. not as like crazy, <laughs> yeah. like, oh my god, I really don't want to go on. I'm so afraid, like, <laughs> type thing. But you can just tell sometimes, you know, yeah. when people are like, oh my god, really? You want re-? like, I don't, you know what I mean? And then what do they? But what do they say? Are they just like? I'm scared I'm going to get canceled. Is that, well, actually going on canceled? Maybe yeah, why. or like a lot of times, like I'll just sense that and then I'll be like, you can have full edit control and they're like, oh, really? Like, okay, maybe I will. And then do they do it then or no? I don't Because I saw you guys talk about someone wanted full edit control and then I was like, wait, are they for it or are they not? You're down to do it, that they I'm can do down, it. I'm down, but I just, I don't know anymore. Too I much. swear to God, I think it's like Paige, you... <laughs> And like that's it. Paige is such a like like serve on your podcast. So people are like, we love Paige. She, she is so her, funny. Yeah. She's yeah. just the funniest person alive. I'm so excited to see her getting all the like love. She Literally, deserves. Oscar's like, you should give Paige a microphone day. And we're like, absolutely yes. And then Paige's like, I actually got to bounce to the next room. Oh my god! I, like, okay. I <laughs> wonder if she, she wants to. <laughs> Paige is like very. She's one of those people where she wants to be like full glam when she does something. You like, she wants so to good serve. though. And she's gorgeous yeah. without makeup. I'm yeah. like, what do you Gorge. mean? No, you look gorgeous. Let's you. Talk- are so nice. We have so much to talk about because just in the, 20, the past the past 24 hours, really, because you said the past 24 hours was like hell. Yes, and literal like, hell. Okay, tell, but then you're like, but Makoa came in last night, so I was like, wait, what happened in 24 hours that it was a like good, bad? No, you were tar I, yummy in the car. Yes, <laughs> oh my God, I really, I forgot about that completely. Flew and she texted me Vegas. at 2.30 a.m. So I'm like, what were you guys doing? I need to know. I have the timelines now. I'm like, okay. It's, I don't, I've just been going, going, going. I swear to God, the universe, <laughs> like, if the universe knows I'm leaving on a trip or on a plane somewhere, I'm going to have the most booked and busy week of my life. Oh. And then I'm just, I have a raging, raging migraine. And like, I don't know why, what's going on. But like, I swear to God, <laughs> entering your house, like does turn things around. Like, I feel like sh- and all, but like the second we pulled up to the gate, we put on like Hillary Duff and we were like, Patricia Paytas. And like, it just like, you feel like you're in a movie and it, it does, it's changing the mood. It around. was actually, I think everything's aligning for you because you arrived at the same time your Uber Eats arrived. It was like a perfect alignment. And I, was I was trying like, wow. to get out of the car at the gate. I was like, gonna get it at the no, gate. That's everything. I think that's like also so cute. I was like, oh my God, I kind of love like just having like Uber Eats ready for you when like, you're here. I, I needed so it for much. you if you uh, tell me what you want. Imagine I'm late and then I'm like, hey, Trisha, can you get me a coffee? Would, Tana, know your place. No, I would. I was going to text you. We were just at Four Seasons for lunch because you're like, okay, I'm going to be a little late. And I'm like, let's go to Four Seasons down the street. And I was like, should we get her some food? But I was like, you guys are so I don't know. Cute. I don't know what you're eating these days. You it's know? funny that <laughs> that Four Seasons is owned by this billionaire that Ari's best friends with. You know Ari, like one of my besties. Yes, Ari. and I just found out he's like, just like a cute little trust fund baby or something. Oh my God, something, yeah. Right? But he just goes over there and runs rampant. I'm surprised you've never seen it. At the Four it. Seasons? Yeah, because the guy who owns it is like his best friend. All right, hit and us up. That's our spot. Oh my God. But we don't get VIP treatment, but... You guys need to have a day there, all of you. That's so funny. That would be so iconic. Yeah, that's where we got married. That's where Britney Spears got kicked out. Like you got it's- married at this one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? Yeah. And then what do you mean that's where Britney Spears that's got kicked Britney out? That's where Britney Spears got kicked out. Like, uh, what there's was she an doing? article about it. If you type it in, like, you know, the location, everything like that, she was at the pool topless and people were complaining. Who would complain? That's what I said. I was like, I never 
see, we go there all the time and I've never seen Britney Spears there. And I was like, I would like, cause she lives in this area. And I like, never was this seen like her. recently? Yeah. Like maybe six months ago. That's so, I love yeah. how she's just in her naked era. I know. I, <laughs> no, I live for her. She's like thriving and Justin Timberlake just got a DUI last night. So I was just like, yeah, it's good for her girl. Oh yeah, my Did you see God. that? <laughs> no, but that's so funny. Like <laughs> one <part>? thing about <laughs> us is just like, we like, we love to see a man go down like it doesn't matter how much later in life it's like yes i like to think of it as like karmic you know mm-hmm. collection like karma coming around and it's just like because she didn't have to do anything right Brittany it's just like the universe did something you know 100 percent something he was drunk driving like an idiot wow yeah. he was like 45 I was like why are you drunk driving i was having this whole conversation the other day about drunk driving especially like you see it so much in like celebrities and athletes and it's like you have the money to uber like so it has to be like a power trip oh for sure like and they're above like, it above yeah the law. like what kind of human like I yeah. just I, I don't know no they get off you always hear about like you know hit and run and stuff like that and celebrities just like get off like you could like literally like kill someone and like it's fine they're a celebrity they don't have to go to jail did like, it Caitlyn Jenner do that did she is that what I'm thinking of someone did it is it Caitlyn no it's not funny I'm like uh, it's like just like <laughs> no oh, the, this the, wild thing the, the sh- we talk about I'm sure it so it was Caitlyn maybe I really think it was Caitlyn Jenner but I could also completely be making that <laughs> okay. up allegedly so like Caitlyn. fact check <laughs> We have no fact check today. Paige is gone. Oscar is gone. Moses is here, but he's never fact checking. Yeah, Moses just lets us. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. lets us live in our delusion. Like, oh my god, your nails look so cute too. Thank you. I know. Trisha. I got like a whole little and, like all of this. Oh, I got the Van Cleef because of you. You look so goddamn Thanks. good oh today. God. I feel you. sorry for the people who are just listening to audio. Like, go to the video on YouTube and look at her. She looks so perfect. Thanks. I feel really good. And I, I look like your little like rat make a wish. No, I feel like we're. <laughs> no, you're definitely like the hot influence her daughter and I'm like the mom that's still trying to be cool no you no, know you're so you look so hot today uh, I am, I'm a mess and I'm I, owning it I put effort in for you so that's why I, was, I didn't know like you were like I'm so sorry I'm late I'm like I honestly didn't know if you were gonna come because I was just like oh, I have this full glam for Tana what you do I do with this glam look, now you look like Kim Kardashian today oh the wig like, that she like has the blonde and the smoky oh it's God, like you're so sweet it's so and like it's like <laughs> dude you just gave birth like if i just gave birth like i would shave my head and like move out of the country like i <laughs> why you know you, how, yeah, yeah you know how oh, i like get a breakdown you'd like, have i think like i don't yeah. i just don't know if like have this you heard that tiktok sound that's like you want me to serve tonight like it's no, like but i love that sound <laughs> But, like, the fact that you're just already serving so Dang. crazy. Well, because I wasn't whole- serving for so long. Like, when I was on Canceled, I looked like a giant pumpkin next no, to you. you guys. didn't. Like- <laughs> you looked so hot. Thanks. Like, you always look so hot. But Thanks. it's just, like, <laughs> I just can't, like, I don't even, I, I can't compute. Like, you were doing the Sabrina Carpenter stuff. That you, Did you film that after you gave birth? Uh, yeah, that was two days ago. That was a couple days ago. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> well, we have, like, a lot of time, too. You know, the baby sleeps a lot. So, I'm like, well. I would just, oh my God, I would just sleep for weeks. So it's so impressive and like Thanks. you're giving. Well, you are giving. Okay, so wait, so the past four hours, tell me, what start, where did it start? Did it start at like noon yesterday or what? I don't, it just, or and I'm it, sober. That's the thing. It's not like I'm doing oh. anything crazy. Like, okay. I'm not drinking or anything. It's just like, I think it's lack of sleep, like right now. It mm-hmm. was Father's Day, so we went to Vegas um, to Amari's family's house and celebrated. Oh, but I can never just go there. I have to go like gamble and see everyone. And it yeah. was Ari's birthday. Birthday, so he dragged me to the club sober. Oh. You never want to be in the club sober. Like, just, why not? I've never been to the club ever. So I you, don't know. I, I'm so. I think there was an era like when like Paris and Lindsay and Britney mm-hmm. like were clubbing. Like it was cool. There yeah. were no phones, and it was it was uh. cool and it was grungy. Like now it's just like. What are people doing? Are people on their phones at the club? Yes. Really? Just like, they're just looking around to see who they can see. <gasps> and like, you know what I mean? Like, no one's like just dancing and having fun, thriving. And it's only fun if you're hammered and like getting sober, like and oh. going to the club now. I'm like, this is so. What do you do? I'm not kidding. Like sit there like a f-ing bitch. Are you like, like talking I'm to just... people or are you dancing? Well, I really, really, <laughs> as much as we, you know, I love to yell. Like I hate <laughs> yelling over loud music. Same. It is like so, cause we're yappers. So you yeah. know what I mean? Like I want to be heard. Yeah. I have to say. <laughs> like, hey, so did you see, and you have like a full conversation <laughs> yeah, with like, someone. Yeah. So I just get so mm. f-ing over it. And yeah. I don't even know, but. I feel like that's why I don't like, I don't like music period. So I think that's why I didn't go to clubs. Cause like I hate yeah. music anywhere so i'm just what like what do you mean unless yeah. it's like the weekend well now i'm in i'm over the weekend now i'm in my i'm back in my musical theater era yeah are you and kind of sabrina carpenter right i love sabrina carpenter so much oh my god she's a queen who do you like who are like the it girls for I you i love sabrina carpenter yeah, i, I really it. do did she come out of nowhere for you because i feel like i just started liking her after coachella i've like always known about her existing but like i my obsession is more recent
sense. Yeah, same. The yeah. other day, someone was, like, saying they didn't like her, and I, like, went off on them. Oh, it was, like, Tana. like, how could you? Because, like, what the f*** can you hate? Like, her lyrics are great. The, like, the melodies, the, they're mm. catchy. It's amazing. And she's, like, she's always dressed so cute. Oh, I, yeah. You just want to put her in your pocket. She's, like, yeah, she's tiny. She's, like, a little sex pot, too. She's, yeah. like, I feel like there's no really, like, sexy, like, that kind of type anymore. And, like, how she's dating that guy, Barry, doesn't give a f*** what people think. Yeah. Cast him in the music video. Uh, Please love. don't embarrass me. Yeah. Like, that's so Best lyrics. I feel like every single girl relates to those lyrics. But literally, like you're begging on your hands and he's like, please yeah, don't, don't embarrass I've me. I always said that about cheaters. I'm like, you know, I actually don't mind the cheating. It's like the humiliation because people know you're with me and it's like, wow, you're really just DMing girls behind my back. Like, that's so embarrassing. Oh my God. I don't care because you're ugly rap, but like, honestly, like everything else is like, but you're embarrassing me. Like, I'm like, oh, I love this person. You're like, hey, girl. Like, I whatever. swear to God, I used to just like have a fetish for getting embarrassed by yeah. guys and didn't even know it. It was like, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, they got off on it. Me too, I feel. Because I was yeah. like, I date people that were only disrespectful. All all the time and I'm just like I just love being humiliated I feel like it's my punishment I guess <laughs> degradation I, that was such a crazy oh I can't even I, lo- I love all of our eras for us but I know we always say that now we're in our like we talked about last time our good girl era but also in like our in love era so I think that's why I love Sabrina Carpenter because like anyone that's like in love I'm like yes I love being in love I you know? know I'm like I'm a shipper until I die oh, for like sure. a good ship like I just live for oh, it oh me too what I, do you think like, of yeah. um Nara Smith <laughs> 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 well, I don't really share my opinions that much. I think, like, good for her. I don't know. It's hard. It's like, hard. Because wh- it's... <laughs> There's a lot to say. Not in anything bad. There's just, like, a lot to say about like, her. You've obviously seen her, like, like she's like, my the kids were craving, yeah, yeah. cheese it so I made them from scratch. Right. And then she acts like, you know, she can take care of three kids and do that at the same time. But you can't. Like, you have to have someone helping you somewhere, either in the kitchen or with the kids. Like, There's definitely a nanny. Yeah. Right? And I wish they would show that part, because I feel like that is the more... Unbelievable. Like, first yeah. of all, making stuff from scratch is hard, period. But then, like, having kids on top of it mm-hmm. and acting like you do it all, plus look perfect, like, mm-hmm. just beautiful, like. Perfect. And you're, like, have... in Chanel tweed, yeah. like, making gum <laughs> from scratch. Like, she what actually the... make gum from she scratch? She makes gum from scratch. That, oh. that was the moment that I was like, okay, maybe. A troll. She, yeah, like, she's fully yeah, in on yeah. it, which makes me like her more. Oh, you and, live like, for her, respect then. it. I don't, like, live? <laughs> like. Because he got excited when he said her. So, like, I don't know if he, my opinion is, like. I don't have one, really. Yeah, but that, I just kind of watch it all, and I think it's really funny. Like, I think, like, the making gum from scratch, and, like, it's, like, <laughs> like no, like, she made toothpaste from scratch the other day. I was, like, what? I She's know trolling. you went upstairs, and there was Sensodyne in the bathroom, and, like. <laughs> You're so made one. Like. <laughs> What did she how did she make it? You should do you should um I don't know how she makes it. Okay. I, oh, I like it. You watched it. Like she started like it's just oxidizing. All like, it's like she's you, like foraging for like berries and <laughs> then like make I don't know how she Very does it. Like, Maybe mint or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should uh, do a video like that though, like trolling her, like making something from oh, scratch for Malibu. That'd be everything. Okay, maybe I should. That's a good one. Like you that should... would just go viral yeah. and you voiced it over, Ooh. but it's like you. But do I actually have to do it? Because I actually have no idea how to do it. I, like 100%. Like I just start it. taking this rose and making like, I don't know, what do you make out of a rose? That's like, what I think you should do. Perfume. It's just like. Yeah. She like, really wanted perfume, but it needs to be all natural for my daughter who's <gasps> one and a half. <laughs> Yeah, okay. That's exactly. Good. I don't wow. know why that came to my mind. You're such a good like content creator. I feel like you should like do that for people. Like, here's your content idea, do it. You know, we're like celebrities. Yeah. I actually do help like a lot of people I love a lot with really? that. Really? To tell them ideas. And a lot of like musician friends who will be like, What do I do for this song? And I'll help. You're like, write like, about me. Now, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, like we have all the content. That's actually really so that's interesting because you do date a lot of musicians and a lot of people write songs about you. Do you have like a musical like talent in you because you do songs trisha oh my god but do you have like an ear like where you're just like okay this sounds like a song because you do songs i love music and like i think spending a lot of time around musicians and stuff like i i really fell in love with like the process and like the melody and like lyrics and like i love lyrics i'm such a slut for like a <laughs> well-written like gut-wrenching song Who's you your, what's your best lyric Oh my God, you know what song you would love? You need to listen to the lyrics is The Smallest Man Who Ever Lived by Taylor Swift. Oh. And like, I'm becoming like, I'm a really, I really in my Swifty era. Wow. Like, cause she just holds a grudge. I love like, it. I do love that. Like, you know, and it's like, Trisha, you would actually, <laughs> like, actually eat it up if you, like, really got into, like, the lore. Like, for example, this song, The Smallest Man Who Ever Lived, is so, so good, lyrically insane, but it's about this musician she dated, Maddie Healy. Oh, yeah, and, and he's, like, trash. And he's trash, yeah. and she's calling him the smallest man who ever lived. Oh like, think about that. Like, that's the craziest <laughs> thing to call someone, and it's it's just so you good. You could do a remix to that with your recent scandal. I might. Oh, my God. <laughs> the follow-up. <laughs> It's like they call themselves Tiny Meat Gang. (laughs) And everyone's mad at me. 
<laughs> you were just helping the brand, really. I tried to talk about it yesterday. Did you cut it? On, well, like, um, I tried one time, like the first time with Brooke, to talk about it. And yeah. I was like, I just felt bad. Because sometimes it's like, I know we're the canceled podcast, but yeah. she is also like not always in some like no. crazy shit. And it's like, I don't want to drag her into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I filmed it again yesterday with Paige, and she was nice enough to see it in on that. <laughs> Did she? Because um, I feel like it's hard to do with you girls, because I just feel like everyone just takes things like, you, they just like really look things under a microscope with you guys. Like, you know what I mean? They can't yeah. just, and it's also because it's you. We were talking about this on Hot Topics, because like, it's you. People are just like, oh, it's Tana. She's always, you know, like they're always like yeah. drama or beefing with someone. And it's just like, it's just not that. You know what I mean? Which like, it's so I annoying. I know. It's, that's what I was talking about yesterday, as I was like, well, it's, it's, I have like so many thoughts on this whole situation, you know yeah. what I mean? And I, I was first talking about like trauma and I don't know if you do this. I wonder if you relate to this, but like, there's a lot of things I look back on that I think would maybe traumatize. I love how serious we just got. Yeah, I know. I, know. I want to finish the smallest man in the world, but we'll go back. I don't, I got it in my brain. Okay. <laughs> um, that like would maybe traumatize the average person more, but you've yeah. been through things that are so much more detrimental that you can kind of look back at these things and they aren't, they don't really feel traumatizing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, and that was kind of the situation I was in and like my perspective on it. But then I was like, but at the same time, like if I had a 17 year old daughter mm. or a little sister or something, like I would kill. Yeah. You know, so then it's like, same. Yeah. It's hard in that regard. But the thing that was actually really heartbreaking to me and kind of crazy to me is after it started going viral, like seeing so many people like Mm. not believing me and being Mm. like, it's Tana. So who cares? It's this. And then I just started to feel bad for so many other girls who maybe look up to me and want to speak their truth and then see the way people like, yeah, just don't believe people. And it's like, I've never really experienced. I've always had people not believe like things, but I don't know why this one just like hits different because it's like so real and it's something that you like didn't, t- but you have talked about it. It's always been because you have talked about it. You don't have this like reputation of being like a liar or anything like that. So it is interesting that that happens and that other people see that and be like, oh my God, if this is happening, Tana, who has all this like power and like, you know, whatever. And it's like, people are like not believing her or like turning against her. Like they'll be scared to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And not just, that's like where, what really like flipped a switch in me Yeah, towards my whole perspective on this situation where I was like, that. Sucks. It sucks. It really sucks. And I, always, I, I feel the same way. It's like when you finally are able to say something and then people don't like believe you, it like really, really sucks. Especially because you have said it. And I think you're probably like me too, where we are people like who, whenever I shared story times, that's what I've always said, right? Like I've, people are like, oh, Trish is a liar. But everything I've said about other people can always be fact checked because Mm. Okay, cause it can be fact checked the other way, right? Like if I lie about someone like David Dobrik, right? If I was like made up this big lie and be like, oh my God, he tried to have sex with me. Like it's so easily proven that it like didn't happen. Mm-hmm. So it's like you have to be so like truthful what you're saying so you can show that it like actually did happen and you've always had that you know and I I just think it's like you and I especially it's like you could sit on the floor and want to be a chicken nugget I could say I got (laughs) with a toothbrush like whatever like we don't need to lie about fucked up about other people to like keep people entertained yeah so it's like you know what I mean no and it's also like that's such an easy thing to like discredit or not you know it's like if it happened it happened because otherwise it's like you just make up and people would be like, well, that didn't. And he could be like, look at these receipts. But there, none of that happens because you have to, like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I agree. I think it's also just, like, the way, at least the way I am, is, is I'm very, like, I joke about things. Like, mm-hmm. I'm very, I say things in a very flippant manner. And, like, yeah. even just in my real life. Like, if I'm mm-hmm. just chilling with you, I'll say the most traumatizing shit and, like, crack a joke. Yeah. And that's just always, A, how I've coped, but B, just how I am about a lot of things. I'm a pretty unserious person. And I think in serious situations, that, like, bites me in the ass. Yeah. Because then it's, like... You know what I mean? Like, why were you joking about it on stage in Sacramento, California, no, Tana? But, like, here we are. That's why, like, when we talked about it, I, like, got actually, like, so sad. I, like, wasn't even talking about it till the end. And then when Oscar brought it up, I was just, like, really sad. I got really dark about it because it is that. Because I'm the same way. And I had to, like, learn not to be that way because I'd be, like, literally, like, yeah, you know, my teacher, like, molested me when I was, like, 13. Mm-hmm. I My teacher tried to have sex with me when I was, like, six years old. You know, like, stuff that's, like, a joke, but I would, like, say it as, like, or not, it's not a joke. It happened, but I would say it as a joke. Mm-hmm. And then, or, like, you know, I get $5 blowjobs on the side of the street when I was, like, 17. True. But it's, mm-hmm. like, I say it now as, like, joke and people think it's funny and they're like what Trisha that's so crazy or whatever but it's like and it it's comes like, from a place of hurt you know yeah and when you I think it's also like you and I have been validated so much in that way like we mm-hmm. say it and people are like you're so crazy that's so funny and whatever and yeah. you almost like just continue to be that way yeah. and like learn those patterns mm-hmm. and it's like I don't know I don't know if I'll ever be like a fully f-ing serious person about all the shit that happened to me but that doesn't mean it didn't happen to me uh, yeah you know? I agree and it, it is hard and that's how I feel too it's like it's just one of those things that's just like hard like how do you do it because it's like it's part of like my background and to me also I've always wanted to like expose myself like for me when I was like a stripper or an escort I always had people be like I'm gonna tell people you're a hooker I'm gonna tell people we did this and mm. so to me I was like 
I just would rather expose it. Same thing with stuff that happened when I was a kid with my teachers. Like, it's, like, not funny, but I talk about it all the time as if it's, like, nothing. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And I was just, like – I don't know because it's just the way of coping. A lot of ways. And that way I'm not humiliated. I'm in power. I'm in control Mm. of it. And I was like, okay, this happened, whatever. I don't know. I fully agree with that. I fully agree with that. It is like – it's got to be – it is It is like you want to feel in control of your own narrative Mm -hmm. and your own story. And like, yeah, it's just sad that that like way isn't like societally validated as much because it's like – it's real. You know it comes what I mean? around though. I like I was saying, like it comes around in other ways too. You know, I feel like whenever I've talked about, especially when you talk about other influencers, it becomes like this whole other thing, right? And like so, whenever I've talked about influencers that I've had a falling out with, like I always make sure everything's like factual. Everything I said about like David, all that whole group, you know, whatever, anything that I've had a falling out with, I make sure it's factual, so it's like you know, no one can discredit me. And then over time, people see it. They're like, oh, actually, like when Jeff was here, it was like super validating for him to be like, you kind of said it, you kind of called it, and they were all just telling me you were crazy and all this stuff like that. And I was kind of like, it just feels good, like years later, to be like, okay, at least if some one can validate me mm-hmm. now you know what I mean but 100 percent. I do yeah. agree like the truth always wins mm-hmm. and I truly believe that and like will always come out in those situations yeah it is just very interesting too and I'm sure you experienced this a lot with David I was talking about this yesterday as well but like the difference in when you're coming for someone or just telling the truth about someone I don't even want to say coming for someone right when you're telling the truth about someone and they're a well-liked person Mm -hmm. versus a not Mm well-liked person because it's like when they're not a well-liked person like everyone's like they're they're so down to get on that bandwagon and be like them but like if you're saying like something happened with a well-liked person it's crazy the way it can be like they received. stand yeah and then when it flips too because that that happened with me with david right he was so loved so then mm-hmm. everyone hated me and then the minute like other stuff coming up like other people started saying stuff it was almost like oh trisha's right she's been saying this all along you know what i mean mm-hmm. which is like fine and then when that happens it feels like good but it does take a minute for it to come out or the stuff with colleen right like i mean i feel like adam talked about it for so long and no one was like take- i didn't know what was happening no one was taking it seriously mm-hmm. and then other stuff stops coming out and you're just like oh my god like this person's kind of like a and maybe what he was saying there is some like truth to it mm-hmm. and then you look back and you see all these receipts we just went over like drama get in and i just saw all those receipts and i was like damn james <laughs> charles not to be a james charles defender and i'm definitely not but i'm just saying in that situation they really did like try to like smear campaign this like boy at like 18 years old mm-hmm. by calling him like you know i, I don't know if you got into it but <laughs> i forgot i was it. watching <laughs> all of it but it's like i would need to go back and do like a, a deep dive a deep dive I, there i saw this girl on tiktok the other day she did like a 15 part like history book level series on TanaCon. Oh. And I was like, oh my God, like really f***ing, it was like so serious. Did you watch all of it? I watched like a couple and I was like, I need to do this about so many like things, like a drama get and like all of it. Because in the moment it's so crazy and then you look back like, I don't even know what happened. Like and something happened at a birthday dinner. Right, right. Like, (laughs) yeah, literally. No, it literally was like her, basically she's upset about the gummy bear hairs, but literally just like (laughs) telling (laughs) <laughs> I know. Me just gave me the. I got really into it. We watched the whole like five part series of Drama Get It. Like from go. the beginning. But just like know. literally, she was mad that James promoted Sugar Bear Hair for Coachella. VIP. Oh, when she had she had some vitamin halo if or something. You actually, like if you just take that part of it and isolate it, like she's kind of nuts for that wild she's for that. nuts and i'm i don't say that lightly because i do actually think there was maybe something a little unwell with her and i think she had a mental breakdown and then i kind of felt a little sad for her towards the end because i was like oh she like was spiraling over something but it was actually crazy because she was also like 38 at the time james she met when he was 17 i'm mm-hmm. like first of all what I, like why are you friends with a 17 year old they were she, like, she called her mom like mm-hmm. in text messages i was like this is kind of like <laughs> a little inappropriate for on your part you're the 38 year old and it was really weird she, and like i'm just imagining if i had like a hair care vitamin and then like brooke went to coachella with sugar bear hair yeah. i wouldn't give off no, like right. that's like the most insane like narcissism and entitlement but, to like right but the, the the kicker of it is he did promote her so many times before going because she's like you never did my halo and he he brought the receipts <laughs> he brought the receipts he's like he did it in a he did it in a story he did it in multiple videos i was like girl he's promoting your halo hair too and for like, free like he didn't for have free. Shit, like, but she said he didn't do it i was like crazy all this it was it was wild I don't, I don't, and anyways, then did I can, like jeffree star hop in or I what know, okay 2019 i was in like three mental hospitals this is the end of the vlog squad for me. This is like, I'm like literally spiraling in 2019. Mm. I remember none of this. I, I was also a mess. Yeah, in 2019? Yeah, a mess. Oh my God, that's something about that year. Because mm-hmm. I don't remember TanaCon either. Was that 2018? It, that was like 2017 or 18. Okay, yeah. so those years I don't remember either. So that's why I was like, maybe I should do a deep dive on TanaCon because I remember <laughs> none of it. I'll watch Shane's series on right. it. Right. <laughs> Like even just oh my god, it's, all of it's so wild. The TanaCon, I just I I remember everyone going and or like excited to go like the vlog spot people too, and I was just like I just don't know where I was at that time where I was like I don't know I don't remember any of it I don't remember the like the outcome of it. it even I happen. like watching like watching those 
series, I was like, oh my God, like there's so many things I fully don't remember. How old were you? Like Gabby Hanna sang, she performed. At Tanacon? Inside. Okay. Like, Iconic. There was, <laughs> two people got married and Ooh. Emma Chamberlain was the flower girl. Like, oh, who got me? What? Like, That's what happened. It was like kind of busting for a minute. For four <laughs> seconds. <laughs> oh, okay. And then, yeah, I don't, I need to like watch the whole thing and like really wow. look at it with new eyes now, but How so old were wild. you? I wasn't 21. I maybe 19, 20. Oh god. I think I was turning oh 20. Oh my god. See, that's the thing too. It's also like again, I feel like I don't know the situation what happened obviously, but it's just like a 19-year-old like putting on like this convention like it should be done in partnership with Vicon. Like someone should be helping you. Not I don't know who was I don't know if anybody was. I don't know. The guy, I, 100%. I mean, I beat it like a dead horse okay, talking about know. it. So I don't want to like bore the lovely Just Trish audience. <laughs> but um, it is even just now like seeing like I'm good friends with like the D'Amelio's manager and like seeing mm. like how well people now are like taken care of. Like uh, even my manager now, I just like would have loved that. Back you know what I mean? 19, but yeah. I, my story wouldn't be my story if no. I didn't have a fucking... Show. You have such a good journey too. Even though you're only 25, like I do love that you have like a journey, you know, that people can follow in nine f-ing lives. It's like we both have just lived so many lives, and it's like just more and more apparent every single day. No, I know. Every time I see you, I'm just always like, and even now, even with all the stuff you did over the weekend, like Vegas, I'm like, God, you really are just like living your best life. And then you were talking about getting a pool with like or a house with slides that go into an ocean for your birthday party. I was like, she's living her life, and I love that stuff. And where is that? Are you getting it? Did it happen? Yeah, I, well, the slide fell through, but um, we are going to Cabo, ah! and the last birthday excursion was in Turks, and you know, everything was, it was, yeah. it was just wild. I can't so. wait for the birthday drama vlogs. I'm, I'm hoping <laughs> Like Makoa was going, like I'm hoping it's like way more wholesome. Oh yeah, but you didn't have him last year for your birthday. Not at all. <laughs> oh, so it's gonna be way different then. Yeah, I'm really hoping it's like less messy and wholesome, and that's the goal. But that's usually how my life goes. I hope something's less messy, and yeah. then it's not. So, can you imagine if it just goes perfect? Everything's like wonderful. That would be amazing. That are people would be coupling am- up to go? Like, are people bringing their significant others? Not really. A lot. Like Brooke is gonna bring her other best friend BB like Paige is bringing her hometown best friend because our birthdays are a day apart so we celebrate together and like everyone's kind of bringing like like Amari might bring his man like just cute okay so it'll be like a cute little like yeah it's gonna retreat it's gonna be really cute and sweet but I want to we could we could revisit if you really want to know more, but like yeah, yeah, yeah. no more me. No, Tell no, you. Yeah, it's all about you. Are you but, kidding me? Oh my god, we gotta Trisha. go back to smallest man. We have smallest man to go over the song lyrics from Taylor. But yes. wait, we were on your birthday. Should I give you this birthday gift now? Trisha, are, are you pausing? Well, because it's your birthday. No, but I'm emotionally unstable. I'm gonna cry. You don't. Have, you won't cry. <laughs> I'm gonna, it's just no. like little, little, like literally something. But it's like wrapped so cute, and I, it's like, how are you doing all this? You just gave birth. I will say Moses does the wrapping. I'm so bad at wrapping. I look. I, I wrap like a crazy crazy person oh you know what God. i mean so Moses, he did wrap this but i love you too yeah. so I much the box was like yeah we were gonna do like this whole thing we had it all like planned out and then like everything got like dis- not because of you but then like you know malibu like woke up so i was like okay, okay really anyway. trisha it's just is- no you're so it's not even and trust me but i just love you guys and i just like feel so lucky you. to have the both of you like I in really my life it. same and i know we always do this every time we exchange a <laughs> gift and i sob about how much i love her but like you guys this influencer world is a show and finding like real people that you love and like feel so comfortable with and like just like yeah and we and we've known each other for so long i think it was in our hot topic yesterday leo skeppy someone asked him about tana and trisha's friendship and how long it'll last and he's like mm, not friend- friendships like don't last forever like that or something like that no <laughs> but he way said he loved tana. he's like but i love tana i was like ah but what, 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 what hold I on i love leo there's no beef no, i love leo uh, hold on hold on <laughs> It was our hot what, topic today. What do you mean? But I love Tana. There was no. But I love Trisha. Yeah, he's like he mm, came on this some show. Friendships don't last forever. But I love Tana. I think I don't respond that great. I'm not a great responder to text in general. Like I truly, I like suck at texting. So I think I'm sure he maybe felt like I'm not a great friend. I'm I'm not. That's why I have no friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a really bad texter. I'm really awful. But that's at crazy. I, and it's funny yeah. because I'm like. First of all, I know we will be friends forever. Yeah, like, we've known each other so long. I, I know for a fact, like, you will always be a part of my life. And, like, we both have a a great dynamic where it's, like, we don't have to talk every single yeah. day. Because then it's, like, we see each other and we have the yap fest of a century and we love it, you yeah. know? But, like, I also am such the type of bitch to do something so out of spite, too. Like, Leo, 
Listen. <laughs> no, we love we, I, I, I not, no. He's going to text me. He's going to be like, because he texts me after everything I say. I'm like, I love you. I do love you. No, I, I stuck up for him, too, during the fat phobic thing. I was like, I, I'm like, I, I can see where he's coming from. <sighs> Listen, okay, I'm, not, I'm not hating on Leo directly. Like, I don't even I don't even have the time or energy today to go down any type of rabbit hole. I hope he's having a great day. He was just in Vegas. He had a show. I was there. I was like, oh, my God. Ooh. I didn't go to the show. But, oh. it, like, I, we were in Vegas. and he Together? Wa- you saw each other? No, no, no. Oh. But he just texted me, and I was nice. <laughs> he's and, like, we're in the same city. Like, you know, but, like, yeah. don't. Like, what do you mean? Look at us. Like, we're going to be friends for that's just... No, I know. I get a little slight because I was like, well, we haven't known each other for very long times. So yeah. And like, yeah. they wish they had our bond. Yeah. These just yeah. wish. <laughs> they wish. These I've just could never. I've always had your back. I've always had your back. I've always, always loved you. Back. Every time I see you, I'm just like, I love Tana. I mean, that's literally the, the like fall of my, my fallout with David and like the whole vlog squad thing. Because I was just like, you guys are like so sick and weird for this. You know what I mean? And it was because of you because I remember that night when we came over and they were trying to do that weird threesome thing. I'm like, you guys are like actual freaks. Like this is like 100%. so actually like weird and disgusting. You're like not into it. You're gone. Which if I you, get. And I'm like, stop pushing no, it weird. If you don't like Trisha Paytas, I don't like you. Yeah, same. And that's, I'm so <laughs> I'm so for real. <laughs> like, oh my God. I like I adore you. you. I love you. Okay, let's just open it. It's just like, again, it's like nothing like crazy. Okay. But I always feel like I, like if you're going on your little birthday trip, it could be like a little cute thing to have. Trisha. Yeah. <sighs> and I feel like it's an it girl thing. I don't know. Okay, I'll put it. <laughs> No, I, it's nothing crazy. It's not. It's, it's not. just the thought, and like you're so no. busy. Okay, I okay. need to stop. I'll <laughs> yeah. open it, but it's just like I. You're just a Gemini, love you. right? A Cancer. Oh, you're twenty June twenty fourth, and that's why I like. Oh man, if we would have had Malibu exactly one month later, she would have been your birthday. She's May twenty fourth. Oh my goodness gracious! That would have been cute. We should have kept her in another month. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you would have gone insane. Yeah, actually, get that. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's <laughs> okay. First of all, you guys. She's talking about it. She's like, oh, it's just something little. Like, as if it was, like, this Dunkin' Donuts, like, wrap. Like, it's a Mew Mew box. It's not something little. This is funny. Yesterday, I went on a whole tangent about how obsessed I am with Mew Mew. Really? Yeah. Wait, where? On TikTok or No, where? just I was texting my stylist. I was just like. Mew Mew is kind of the thing now. I, feel. I see everyone, so like, wearing it. Sydney Sweeney. <laughs> well, you don't even know what it is. I'm sorry. I know, but I'm crying. The wrapping is cute. The cute. Oh my gosh. Well, I don't know how I won't see you on your actual birthday, but. <laughs> you know, I, Trisha, I swear to God, I just like, I, I, I was talking about it with Brooke and I was like, I want to invite Trisha so bad, but like, I just don't even want to subject her to that. <laughs> like, like, the and, and they just, no, like, baby, stay. Uh, no, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, do, could you imagine me going to Cabo with like a three week old? <laughs> I would love it. <laughs> I would, I would make everyone be on their best behavior. But I feel like I do love it. And Jake Weber invited me to his party. And I was like, God, I feel so cool. I mean, I definitely didn't go because I don't go anywhere. But I like, wow, that's so cool. Oh, that is sweet. <laughs> I would have loved. You should have. Where was it? Barney's? It was at this place called Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Oh, cute. <laughs> is it everything? Me and Moses show up. We're like, hey. <laughs> It was um, it, it was like cute and fun, but yeah. even like I feel too old for everything. Now. Yeah, it's like that TikTok like, sound. Like, are we too old to be? Yeah, here? and I like I walked in and Jordan, my old manager, was there, and uh, Monson was there, and uh, so I didn't even like I, I spent the whole night like trying to fix just oh, fix things fix that around. have gone wrong. I didn't know Monson was like older than me. Wow, he's like thirty seven. We looked it up. I was like, how old is he? I saw him with Tara Yummy. I was like, let's let's look this up. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Love Tara. Love her. Never Aww. say anything bad about her ever. Um, but. she is a little sweetie cutie. I actually just made up with him too, which I think is okay, good. Okay. So I'm no longer so, on my. I'm yeah. I'm trying to just <laughs> Maybe be good. With Avril Lavigne. I feel like that's an age appropriate relationship. That's for him. I, yeah. yeah. We'll and see. Cute. Yeah. Okay, anyways. <laughs> I don't have any hate towards him either. <laughs> I don't even know him. I was just like, I know he's everywhere with every girl. I was like, okay. Oh, my God. He's the Pete Davidson for influencers. <laughs> These, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Trisha, this is so nice. Everybody haven't even seen it. I, oh, my. It's, again, like, tiny. <laughs> no, it's so. You're insane. It's like a little summer you, bag. I but feel. stop, stop <laughs> downplaying it. Like, it's literally like a Cinnabon Delight. <laughs> like, it's the nicest bag in the world. It's so it was like the new one. You know, they give you an email, I'm like, here's our new bag. And I was like, boom. Trisha. That's I, I don't have a great taste, but I, if something's like new, I'm like, okay, that looks good. You know I have I mean? to get baby Elvis a Bugatti. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm not even literally kidding. No. This is so cute. And I've been loving yeah. orange. Like, oh, really? Okay. Yes. Orange is the new pink. 
You're like in my <laughs> head. Orange is my new pink it's like right now. It's a new color out. I know it's like a different color. I don't know. Anyways, Trisha, you okay? You can I, take it. Pr- to please and trash promise it. me, like next holiday, like I just want like a signed photo of you. I have like, those too. Like I need one. I'm not kidding. Okay. I just um covered my laptop in stickers of you actually because really? fans brought them to my meet and greet. And oh I was my god, like, that's kind of. Okay, we have to talk about the tour too. Okay, we have to talk about this. This is so nice of yeah, you. Yeah, of course. The little orange sugar. You can always. I just carried the bedazzled Bottega that you got me the oh, other yeah. day that too. That was a hard one to carry because it's like, where do you go with that? Because I one too it's and I'm like so I don't know where to go nice. with this. Yeah. It's like it's such a nice bag that I feel like if I'm going to some like rat influencer <laughs> No one needs to see <laughs> the that. And like, I loved it on the red carpet, purple carpet, green carpet. One of the carpets that you guys went to, Brooke took it, and I thought it was like, oh, it's so cute. Oh like, this is the Trisha. She, Trisha Paytas gives us like, ah, oh, I got the shout out on the carpet. I was very excited. It's so it funny cute. every time we carry like that bag or any bag. I was just carrying my um Adam Sandler bag from I you. I saw that on your story yeah. the other day, and I like. I got more compliments on it than I've ever received on anything. And it's, uh, imagine, seriously at home, put yourself in my shoes. How, how sorry for saying it again, but how <laughs> it is when someone comes up to me and they're like, I love your bag. And I'm like, Trisha Paytas gave it to me. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Trisha Paytas gave it to me. Like, you wish. <laughs> I love that they love that bag. That bag, we did get the most compliments. Like, I have this, we have, a, I told you I have a matching one. I'm like, take it. I have like two of them. And so when we ever go out, like to Malibu, everyone, everyone's just like, that bag, that bag, like old it's people. It's better like, than everything. a Birkin. Yeah. No, no, no. It like really is. Birkin, yeah. And, that, and it's such a like good bag. Yeah. It's like huge like, and big. And, it's yeah. been my airport bag and oh, I really? love it. I yeah. love that. One day you'll see Adam Sandler like in first class or whatever and you'll be like, there's my bag. Oh, you know what I mean? I would have a seizure and die. I don't even. I feel like you guys will connect at one point. I think we, I just wish so badly he would just throw us a bone and like (sighs) imagine like the three of us just like filmed something together, like hung out. What would we do? I don't even know. We would literally die. We'd go into cardiac arrest. I don't think I could interview him. I feel like I'm such a bad interviewer. I'd be like so nervous anyways. I feel like I'd have the, you're good. You're casual. But I would just be like, I love you. Like, (laughs) oh, I love him so much. Trisha. great. Yes. Yes. This is so cute Yay. and so thoughtful. It's crazy because if I literally walked into a store, this is what I would pick out. So it makes me want to cry. Uh, that you just it makes like your no Duncan me. perfectly. Like the it orange was- is the Duncan and the brown is the coffee. It's literally and That's how aesthetic, yeah. Come on. I love taking like story. Do you do Snapchat stuff? Like I love doing Instagram mm. stories, like just of every little thing. Like cute little bag. Yeah. Whatever. This is so Yay. Oh, I'm cute. glad you like it. Okay, good. No, but like you're just so sweet. No, I'm good. You're so sweet. I, like literally, I was like, <sighs> love seeing you, and I was like, it's your birthday, and I love birthdays. So, anyways, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle you. It's okay. I'm gonna literally buy Elvis a Bugatti. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Okay, let's talk about. Um, uh, I want to give you a hug. Yeah, wait. of course. Happy birthday. How old are you gonna be? Are you 26 this year or 25? 26. Oh, I'm growing up. Oh my gosh, it's so crazy to see. Aw, I like love. And Moses, I just love you so much. <laughs> I actually really, I feel like I've never said this like on the mic and I, I want to, on the mic and I, I've definitely said it off camera, but like lately I have like really been crying at your TikToks. Like oh, just them. like the way, just all of them, mm. like the way that he loves you is like, you were, you filmed a YouTube video too where you like sat down and you were like, not only does he like love me so much that it makes me want to love myself more. You were talking mm-hmm. about how he just helped you with everything in your life, like finances and so many different things. Crazy. Like, and it just like makes me so fucking happy that you have wow. him and your babies. And I just like, I'm, I'm so happy for you Thank guys. You. Do you feel like that too? Like, I feel like when you, you just like, and it's maybe like not the right reason to like get better. But for me, I just like didn't want to like embarrass him. Like when we first got together, I was like, I don't want to be that person that because he got a lot of hate, you know, for no reason, just for being sticking by me and mm-hmm. having for having meltdowns. I'm like, I can't have meltdowns online anymore because he gets hate. You know what I mean? 100 yeah. percent. Makoa like makes yeah. me want to be better in every single way. Yeah. And it's I, I like when I met him, like it, I was really going through it. And I don't want to say he pulled me out of that because you pull yourself out of things yeah. like that. But it definitely helps. Changes something a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I'd be like, wait, I can't this up like there's nothing else like this out there yeah you know? because it's true with like a toxic relationship too something's toxic you just like self-destruct you know what i mean mm. but when it's like a good relationship you're like okay, i'm gonna try and be better i'm gonna try and be like you and know? you are just so like better doesn't even describe it like the where your life is out right now mm. nobody deserves it the way you do and it's like it, it's also just so fucking beautiful to me like Thanks. not only me do you inspire so much mm. like genuinely you inspire me so much like you give me so much hope in so many different ways, but the amount of like millions of young girls and like it just, I'm just, ugh, I'm gonna cry. I'm so thank happy you. for you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. That's so nice of you to say. Are you guys done having babies? We are done. Done. We are done, done. Uh, now I was saying it's hard. Maybe I could ask you this. I feel like you're the only person I could ask that doesn't sound like <laughs> too personal, but I actually don't know how to not try to have babies, to not try to get pregnant. Like my whole life I've been trying to get pregnant since I was like 22 mm-hmm. and I was told I was infertile. So I've always just let. Uh, 
whatever. I don't want to be graphic, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, I've always just been like, let's get pregnant by a random person down the street. It never happened for me. So I was just mm-hmm. like, how do you try so not crazy. to get pregnant now? Because we got pregnant twice. And I told Moses, it's really hard for me to get pregnant. We Because he knows, right? Like, it was hard for us to get pregnant. We had to do that HSG test. I'm like, it'll be fine. Because how do you... It's, you know, first of all, just like, just my thoughts, it's wild that your body like almost knew and waited for like yes. your soulmate. Well, that I feel for sure. Cause that's why I was like way older. I was like 34 and 36 when I had my babies, mm. but I was trying at like 20 to have mm. like, I, I've never, again, not to be graphic, but I've never had like protected sex. So I was just like, how have I not gotten pregnant? Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. And so then we got pregnant and twice within like, you know, two years. So I'm like, now we're trying to like not get pregnant, but it's like, the second t- you're like, where is it gonna go? That's how I feel. Like you're gonna pull out like I'm freaking 18 years old, you know? Like yeah. I don't know, it's like weird. Like and then you get a towel and just like rub me off. I don't know. That's I mean, were you like <laughs> How do you not get pregnant? I, everything I'm gonna say is so graphic, but whatever. I know. Like it's when fine. before Elvis, like were you like trying? Like Every was day. he like really up in there? Every day. Like what if yes. it was just like a little No. Everything hold it in there. He like hold it in for like 30 minutes mm-hmm. like just like mm-hmm. is it all in there like mm-hmm. upside down we were throwing my feet over my head like mm-hmm. everything and literally well, now maybe like stand up right after <laughs> just pee. can you pee it out you could probably like push it out <laughs> i don't think right? that works that's not good sense. oh my god oh I my god like- yeah seriously sorry no one take this that's at why all. i was like how do you how have you not gotten pregnant i guess i love a good pull out you do. So yeah. that's your preferred. Yeah. Okay. That's what I have to do because I can't do birth control pills. They make me absolutely crazy. Yeah. And I can't do the IUD. So I was just like, he doesn't want to get a second me. And I'm I like, don't no. ever want to like preach the pull out method at home. Like maybe use a condom or, you know, to the, to the girlies out there. when you're married. Could you imagine married? No, no. Yeah. Up? Like for you guys, general. you guys, but then committed. Yeah. what happens at the off chance <laughs> you get pregnant for a third time? Oh, we would, we would, at that point, we're like, it's divine intervention. God wants us to have this third baby because I feel like we're like actively trying not to, you uh-huh. know what I mean? Yeah, we would. I would keep every baby because like I would love to make 20 babies, but we're also getting older. I'm going to be 40 in four years. So I was like, I can't be. But you're like not going to be 40 in four years. But I am. <laughs> <laughs> like, mathematically, I'll but be like, 40. But like you're not. Like you're just like your soul and your, you know what I mean? I like, agree. I feel like I'm like 18. Like I feel like a teen mom, you know what I mean? Well, but like you yeah. are just you're not it's not giving old trish like it's <laughs> right. giving but i just feel like 36 is also young it's young but That's you know good. we gotta see them get married and stuff so it's like i can't have a baby at like 50 i mean you can you can do whatever you want but like mm-hmm. if i'm 60 having 50 having a baby yeah i only live you know to see them be 20 and i don't want that you know yeah anyways i understand that i understand <laughs> but, that but 60 is a long ways away you know right, right, what right. would be the third name Ooh, we don't have one well we kind of do we can have them picked out but um yeah <laughs> do you, oh, you want to know? <laughs> Nara Smith over here just giving all my names. Her name lists are crazy. Do you have names yeah. for yours? I can tell you. I mean, if we had a boy, I think it would be – we're aiming <laughs> – this is so stupid. This is literally so stupid. I think we'd aim <laughs> – this is so dumb. Like, I thought my baby was going to be a Taurus, so I thought it was going to be like me, like a Taurus baby. So mm-hmm. I'd be like, oh, let's aim to have a Scorpio like you. And then we would name him like Scorpio King, you know, like the movie. So we could have another movie poster. So we have Barbie, Elvis, Scorpio King. Scorpio King. And then he'd be a Scorpio, so it makes sense. But he'd have to be born in October. Like he's October, like at the end of October, November. So I guess if he's not going to pull out, you'd have to like do it in those months. Yeah, I was like, let's just try, I guess, that month. But no, we're not going to. Because honestly, it's so much. And we just divide it to anyways. And then yeah. if it was a girl, again, movie I love posters. Scorpio King. <laughs> Movie posters were thinking Aquamarine. Do you remember that movie? Yes. Yeah, and he loves like water and mermaids. So I think that's yeah. like the vibe. And Aqua's like a cute little nickname. Yeah, that's what I think too. So I feel like it goes. Aqua's cute. Yeah, and then it feels more. And then we have all movie posters and then we'll be done. How about you? Mm. Have you ever thought about kids' names? I, yes, I definitely am in the same place as you. Like I would never want to give my kid a generic name. Who would? I, I'm so, I don't. Oh, yeah. I don't understand why people are so mad. Don't get me wrong. There are some I see where I'm like, that. that's just a bad name. What name would you say is a bad name? <sighs> what? I don't think anything what was. Like, or you saw something recently. I wasn't living. Sorry, Nora. <laughs> um, I wasn't living for Whimsy <laughs> Lou. Lou. Yeah, but it's a unique enough, But then enough, again, it's right? kind of like a Cindy Lou who like it's kind of a vibe. At yeah. The same, yeah, maybe I just made that up. Maybe We're, I do no, like that. I, I know. They um, have like humble rumble honey or something yeah. like yeah i like rumble too kind of and francesca had like lovely and stuff i kind of like those i Lovely's thought those were cute. cute yeah yeah i just feel like it's like 2024 like what i'm gonna name my kid kevin that's what i'm like, saying i'm gonna name my daughter samantha like no, no I, that's it's just like 
No, no one's boring. doing that anymore. And I saw someone say, they're like, yeah, everyone's saying, oh, your kids will get made fun of, but everyone is naming their kids like these w- yeah. crazy, bizarre, wonderful names. Yeah. So I feel like the one TikTok we saw was like, everyone's naming their kids this, this, and this. And they're like, one day the president's going to be Malibu Barbie. So it's fine to have these names. And I'm Literally. Like, oh, I love that. Malibu for president. So Literally um, Malibu for president. <laughs> yeah. Even just like, I think it's like, don't give your kid a bullyable name. Like, don't give them some like really actual awful, like, I'm trying to think of like, <sighs> like Boner. Ex- yeah, like that's awful. Do you remember that show right? Growing Pains and there's a kid named Boner on that show? And I was like, who named their kid Boner? <laughs> federal prison. If your name, like, that's federal prison. I met someone named FAG once and I was really? like, that's wild. Like, that was his. Name. Were they like British parents who really liked cigarettes? Like, is it, do you think it's like. <laughs> They're like reading maybe. after the cig. If that's true, maybe. But that, he literally introduced himself as that. And Why he is said, cigarette kind of a cool name? Okay, no. <laughs> that's your baby's name, Cigarette. Cigarette Mojo. I was friends with this. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's awful. <laughs> I was friends with these two guys named Rage and Chaos. And I, like, oh, that's Jeff and I cute. would always joke that those are, like, really good baby names. Rage and Chaos is kind of, but then they're going to be that. Yeah, that's the <laughs> other thing is you're kind of like, like, Malibu Barbie. Like, you're hoping she oh. embodies that. Yeah, you know she's going mean? to be Malibu Barbie for sure. And so do you think Elvis will end up being a little more edgy? For sure. Mm-hmm. Rockstar for sure and all the way the younger like i feel like the yeah. firstborn is always a little more like sh- together and the younger child always is a little more. oh yeah the younger one's wild and but I, moses I, was just telling me that he feels like elvis is like twins with malibu like are they so yes. similar yeah they're so similar right now they look alike and they act alike so they're like very very similar they could be twins yeah so they for act sure. like in the sense that like elvis is calm like calm, malibu calm like the chillest <laughs> you're just, baby i you're know just birthing these, it's so funny just relaxed like, baby just calm ass kids and it's like that's so iconic but she's like a puncher she's like a boxer like she boxes in her sleep she likes to kick and stuff and she was like that in my belly so i feel like she's gonna be a little more feistier as she mm-hmm. gets there you know she is uh she turned out to be a gemini i thought she was gonna be towards she turned out to be a gemini but Ooh, um, i love Gemini's hot take. Do you? I Girl don't. Gemini's, I heard her okay. Yes. Yeah. And like gay gem, gay guy mm. Gemini's, I like. Don't ever date a straight guy Gemini, right? Never. That's like the, Never, never. Yeah. That's, that's why I didn't want a Gemini for so long. I was like, they're kind of awful. And I, like, I've like i known so many male Gemini's. I'm just like, Bleh, no. Yeah, that's scary. But I think Girl Gemini's are. Like, Elle Woods was a Gemini. Oh. Vegetarian, remember? She's like, I'm a Gemini vegetarian. Oh, my God. <laughs> I need to rewatch. I haven't seen Legally Blonde in a while. Such a good movie. Does it's, it's iconic. Didn't you say this is Elle Wood brand or something? It's called Elle Oh, that's so funny. When you said that, I was like, wait, what? It's called Elwood, like E L Wood, but like, oh. and like they definitely weren't thinking that at all. But leave it to you and me to be like, I'm wearing Elwood. That's what you said. I was like, where's this from? You're like, it's Elwood. I was like, okay, <laughs> iconic. Um, Went Mc- to Harvard. I picked it up. Mm. <laughs> Does Makoa have like a really long name? Yes. Um, Does he have like five? Because Cover, I think, has like a really long mm, name. He has two middle names. I don't know if he would want me to. No, like, you don't have to say it. But I just say it. His last name. Okay, you can like. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then he has like he a has really two long. middle names. It took me like like a month to memorize it. Like I felt like a bad girlfriend. Like it, I was oh, like, because it's hard. Because I think Alex didn't even know his girlfriend's full or fiance wife, and maybe now I don't know mm. full pronunciation. So I was like, I wonder if all Hawaiians just have like crazy long names. A lot of them do. Like I have yeah. like a lot of middle names. I was just asking Makoa's mom like the whole origin story of like his whole name, and it was really cute. And, what like, was it? Well, I guess like, you have to go into it. But. Well, I mean, just like the the middle names were. One was her maiden name. One was like one of their family members, and then his little sisters, oh. like and brothers. I don't know if they would want me to yeah, say yeah, it yeah. as well. I think I have. I don't know. No, you'll have to. We but just really bleep his like last name Hawaiian too. sweet names cute. too. And it's, it's so. You cute. should name your baby Hawaiian sweet roll. Oh my god, that'd be so and cute. I love those. Scott Disick does too. Did you oh. see that's how he came to yes. the He's like, I didn't know those were bad for you. I didn't even really either. It's bread. Like you don't yeah. think of it as like a dessert or anything. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, they're oh my, good and they're so good. That mm. clip was funny too. Like <laughs> I need to leave the Kardashians alone. Like stop you, it. Do you now. not like them or you like them? No, I love them, Me too. but I just feel like I'm always talking about them, and it's like they're like, oh, this. Vegas Do you think they don't again. like you? I don't know. I did just see um, Kylie Jenner, and we like she was oh. nice to me and oh. talking to me, and I was like, "Oh, slay!" Okay, you yeah, no, they love you then. then. No, but I don't think it's, I think I don't they know do. If, it goes <laughs> if Kylie likes you, they all like you. <laughs> I don't know. Kylie looks good. She looks so amazing. She, looks, she does look really good. If you had babies, then so would you name them like Hawaiian? Like full, imagine like, naming names? your babies Ozempic and like Manjaro and Wagovi. Oh my god! <laughs> I heard Manjaro is the one though. I heard that's the one. That's what I'm hearing as of yeah. late. People have looked really good. I've seen so many people lately, and they're like a Manjaro. I was like. Oh, man, that looks good. And I then, wish everyone could just admit it. It would. I feel like huh. the world would be a funnier place. I know. Because honestly, they look so good. So like Christina Aguilera. Everyone says Christina looks like you now. 
because she's so tiny and so little and looks such slay. She, um, everyone was like, your music career is back. I was like, diva, that's X Tina. You should collab. Slay. Oh my God. She reposted a TikTok <gasps> of mine where I duetted hers and the, but then I DM'd her and I got left on scene. Duh. You never know. One day she might reply though. Sometimes I DM random people that follow me like Ice Spice and she replied and she's like, yeah. I'm like, we went back. She's like, yeah. And then I was like, I didn't really hear from her manager ever again. I was like, oh, no. mm-hmm. but I was excited to get that DM back. You know what I mean? Right. It's just, it's everything. I need to get I don't know. I'll get more bold again. I'm in a phase right now where I'm like, I'm I'm just going to leave everyone alone. That's how I am, too. I just asked Zac Efron and Austin Butler, but I don't think they are. I could see Zac Efron. Because he's been doing press and so has Austin Butler. Mm. You have to go through your agency. I was like telling them, can you get them? (laughs) That's exactly what just happened to me with um, Gypsy Rose. Like she (gasps) she went live and she was like, I want to go on the canceled podcast. And so here I am thinking me and Jip Jip are like this and she'll just come on and kick it. And then her team was like during her next press run. And I was like, damn it, I just wanted to hang out. Oh, yeah. Okay, so so on that same one, she had said something. She didn't know who we were, but someone's like Trisha and her – Ken. Okay, it's Ken, Ken now. Ken. Shout out Ken. Was like, oh, I love her. You should. <laughs> I, I love shout out Ken. <laughs> shout out Ken. He's like, oh, I love her. You should. And she goes, I don't think she's asked me. So I was like, well, let me just DM. You Do know you what know I mean? know she has a new show, okay, that you need to watch, by Not the, the love after lock. Not the No, one. it's, yeah, it's life after lockup. It's, okay. it's not the documentary that came out like a while ago. It's like a new, and it's like a, Trisha, it's like a f***ing reality show. It's Is like the Kardashians. Is this the one where she, he's like creepy with her, like, Ryan is creepy with her in bed. I think, yeah. Where he's like, once some fries, she goes, I just want to be left alone. <laughs> yes. Like, okay, yeah. Yes, and then she like ends up leaving him for the new man and stuff, but it's like Kardashian style, like real drama. It's not like a documentary. Like it's like- Really? Have so, you watched all of it? And in the intro, for every single episode, they play this- um, slideshow of a bunch of TikToks about her. And one of them was a list of things that she needs to do after getting out of jail. I'm sure you saw the actual TikTok, but it says just Trish podcast. And it's in the intro of every single episode no of the show. Yeah. And I like scream okay. and I'm like, Trish. Well, I have this idea. For, it's, it benefits both of us. Okay. So she, so I DM'd her, I DM'd her on Instagram, TikTok, and then I DM'd um, Ken. And so <laughs> I literally like DM'd him at like 354. I was like, hey, Ken, trying to get to Gypsy. Heard you guys talk about some podcasts. Love you on just Trish. Like literally a minute later, Gypsy DMs me from hers. And it was like 3.55. And she's like, hi, Trish. And I was like, oh, my gosh. I'm like, hey, you want to come on my podcast? And she's like, next time I'm in L.A. Then I was thinking, like, what if we just fly her out here? I was going to say, though, also, Trisha. And then she comes on We could both. fly her out here. But the parole of it all, I think, is a, f- oh. a real factor. So do we drive her out here? We drive or her. you and me <laughs> go, go to New Orleans. Is that where she is? That's mm. a serve. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> it's so funny because I get in trouble for saying this. But, like, Why? I fucking hate New Orleans. Oh, wait. Why do you get in trouble? I don't okay, – the New Orleans because I obviously if you support me and you live in New Orleans I love you and thank you but every time I go there just something oh. it's awful it's always happening <sighs> that is where the haunted mansion is did you ever see that movie that's like where like all the haunted stuff happens like don't they have like right is that Amityville New Horror no what no <laughs> <laughs> the haunted mansion with Owen Wilson. No, I haven't. The but voodoo. he's hot. The voodoo. That's what. I, yeah, the voodoo. Because in the Princess of the Frog, there's a voodoo man. So I think there's a lot of voodoo down there. Oh, so, I believe that. So someone probably has like a voodoo doll of you or something. I fully, fully. <laughs> Believe that. Like, oh, so she's down there. I thought she was okay. Even well, our, go. um, even like our show there, like just like so many people sneaking oh, in, oh, hammered, oh. like, like I was like scared. Like it was oh. like scary. A girl had bear spray, and she like ran to the front of the stage with her bear spray. Wait, it was in what? her pants. So you were recently there for this tour. It was our first show, and that was like as stressful as too because i was like of course this tour is starting in new orleans Why did, i would just say i'm not i don't go to florida for a reason so i'd be like i'm not going to new orleans just say you're not going i and I, I maybe now i would i don't know you know me I'm just like, oh, I'm so was it the show or did, like like were you like the actual show like on stage was like and the show like the people we met they were all great it's just crazy like bourbon street that's what it's called right is that where you like flash your titties right oh my god know. if it's not i'm so embarrassing bourbon, but, like, do you know bourbon over in there okay yeah like it's just it's a crazy place. And I'm from Vegas. So saying that is like a yeah, lot, you know? Dang. Yeah. I've never been to New Orleans. I don't know mm. anything about it, but um, I'd be down to go. If it's for Gypsy, you wouldn't go to New Orleans? Of course I would. Okay. <laughs> I would go anywhere for Gypsy so, Rose. So we'll DM her and be like, hey, girl. I just feel like, oh my God, it would just be so fun. But she was in LA with yeah. Alexis. Alexis uh-huh. Oakley. I'm yes. like, girl. Damn. Yes. I was like, and she, she did her glam like two days after mine. I was like, I wonder if Gypsy saw like my post. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> no, I'm just De- no, 100% definitely. <laughs> and you know, like, Alexis was probably like talking. About you and like I would love. Oh my god! Like be saying everything. like nice things. Well, she obviously like, did with you. You got to FaceTime her, and I was just so happy for you. It I was, know you're like a gypsy stand. I like like 
the phenomenon of it. I That's don't know much about I, her. I like I I have a problem, like a mental okay. illness. I, I really. <laughs> do was, like, what is it where i just like i obsess over the phenomenon of something i love like crazy yeah. crazy sh- and then i like become obsessed with people you know you like real people you don't become obsessed with, like celebrity like characters or like movies you like like even the like people. adam sandler like i just hyper fixate on i don't know mm, what it is yeah maybe <laughs> well jake weber he has he has hyper fixations on people and he i think he's proud you know he talks about being autistic i'm not like mm. saying anything that he doesn't say mm. so i think maybe that is it yeah is that what you're gonna say or we're not gonna say that, <laughs> that is what okay. I, was gonna say. I think that's fine to say Imagine i don't know it was it <laughs> I think it's fine to say. Oh, I don't know what's going I on guess, up yeah, here. Yeah, okay, anyway. I really don't. The hyperfixations are real, yeah. We started watching Bridgerton, which I never thought I would like, and I was like, now yeah. I'm obsessed with it, and like everything has to be Bridgerton, which brings me to my next point. <laughs> or my... <laughs> I feel like we had to go on a race because it's like you have another meeting and then we're supposed to go on cancels and I feel like we were all started late. So I'm like, are we like racing to cancel get this that done? meeting so quickly? I don't even want to go. Can you say it? we'll bleep it? What is it for? I'm a really big advocate of like certain meetings could be an email, certain emails could be a, a text Zoom. to call, yeah. and certain texts could be a thought. Like it just, you know what I mean? Like I just <laughs> certain things don't need to be said at all. And like, I'm like, why did you send this email to me? That's so weird. Yeah. It's it's so. F- yeah wild. it really is i feel you but yeah back to where i was gonna go with the i feel like our show right we always talk about a show we want to do and it's like hard because like if, if like paris and nicole are doing simple life, it's like, what do we do okay. no we could do we could we can do anything okay so this is kind of that same vibe and we and you love okay i love that you love to dress up because i think you'd be down for this because like, only someone who's like into themes and stuff would be into this mm. and i'm obsessed with bridgerton at the moment i was like what if we do a show where we're like time travelers where we like try all the occupations of like the 1800s or like the set or we go to back to the 50s and be war nurses or we're like in Bridgerton era and we have to do like corsets it's and find kind Amanda Marius. <laughs> That's kind of fing crazy because it's like, if you think about it, we are this generation. Like we are so totally. 2024. Social like we media are media influencer, like yeah, like obs- brand deals. <laughs> obsessed with like Dunkin' Donuts and Sabrina Carpenter and like you know what I mean? Like we are like the definition of right now. Yeah. So that could be like really fun. Right. I think we could do anything. I really do. I'm back until October if we want to try to put a move do on. Do something that. that we should do it like right now. Cause I'm like I have so much energy. I was just like, oh my God, I feel I'm so good. So... Okay, what do we do? Just like shoot a little pilot or just get it made or what are do we doing? You... I really, I know Paris and Nicole are doing Simple Life. I'm not saying we just like knock it off, but I do think there's like room for both. Like ours would be so unhinged. It'd have to be different because they're like, you know, heiresses and like, oh my God, we don't know how to work. You know, it's like, we're like kind of like hustlers, you know what I Mm -hmm. mean? But not to say that they're not, I'm just saying like, it's a totally different vibe. So I was like thinking like, what could we do? That's like, like you said, we're so in like this world. What if we go back to... Yeah, the, compl- the complicated the, life. Wow, that's so good. Cool. Moses! Or, or, but it's kind of like we are living Moses complicated. Moses just ate with that. <laughs> that's kind of everything. The complicated life is good. But what it's almost like the simpler life because if you're going back to the 1800s, it's even more simple because we watch oh. Bridgerton. <laughs> oh. And all they do is literally they just like wait around for guys to come call on them. They just like wait in their thing and like, oh, you have a gentleman caller and they like hope to get married. I'm like, this is kind of a great life Wouldn't actually. Wouldn't we have to cast actors? Like, do you know what I mean? Oh. Like <laughs> right, to like be those guys. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, but there's people who are like professional Civil War reenactors. You know what I mean? So if we're like Civil War, like, like army people, we could be in the reenactments with them. Trisha, I would, I mean, I would, I would love that. That's like, fun, right? And I, like, I just, you are the only person who gets me in my like cosplay yeah. mood. Really? Like, I you know, like that, you love it. what's that video that you spent like $200,000 <laughs> on? A lot of them. Like the one where you're like screaming and you're oh, like the, in the, the war. one on the beach, the army one. Yeah, it's like, my chemical romance Like, we I make. would do anything to do that. Oh my God, it's the best. We, and we could do that. That's what I'm saying. We could be in like the Civil War. We can be nurses in the World War II. You know, we can just be I in the different do, eras. I would do the f*** out of that with you. Okay. I would like, do anything We need to you. do that. I feel like that is a budget one, but honestly, I feel like we could get it. I'll yeah. call today. I'll make a call. On the yeah. way to cancel, they'll be like, hey. I feel like it's like... Not to like suck our own dicks, but like it's like someone's gotta f- fund it, right? But there's th- gotta be that's someone. That's what I say, and every time I have me into like, what can you and Tana do? And I was just like, I don't, I, I don't know, I don't know. This is what I say. But this came to me, and I was just like, I feel like this is kind of it, and it can go through all the periods, you know. And we're like time travelers. It's like T T Tana and Trisha time travel. There's like so many T's aligning, like you know maybe. what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we actually like. <sighs> Like, go take some meetings and, like, really pitch to, like, some, like, suits. Yeah, I know. There's, like, I've, I've even like, that's funny. Like, is <laughs> just it just to get a show? straight up a f-ing reality show, too? Just like, I, I, like I, I always say, like, oh, I'd never do reality television again. But I would with you. And if 
it's like fun. It's not like so like drama. Like I could never do one based on our lives like the Kardashians because there's like I don't have that drama in my life mm-hmm. and I don't want that drama. But it's like us and it's something fun like that. I think mm-hmm. it'd be so cute. So anyway, since I always pitch my ideas here and Odd I'm like, jobs also, says it. Odd jobs also still just like gets me. Like obviously there's yeah. been influencers like the McBrooms did it and it was super out of touch and like who like Oh, remember like Austin, Austin, and Austin and yeah they like were working in a Chipotle and they were like this is so hard I want to go home no and it Wait, was like what? <laughs> why do you see why the f- do I remember that that's it's like was it an actual show or just on YouTube I think it was just on YouTube but I feel like like imagine you and I like behind the counter at like a KFC I would like, live I would live I would live I would do the f- out of that that's kind of where like maybe it's not so simple I'm taking off my glasses I'm like getting I love serious it. yeah no you look so beautiful like, I, I love, love when you're like fresh face like this I feel looks so good no you actually mm. look really good I love you you love look you beautiful too. I'm Thank just looking you. at you and pretending it's a mirror and that, that's what I look like <laughs> um. <laughs> it's like a fun house mirror though I'm more like extorted and whatever I mean I look good I'm just saying it's just it's a fun house mirror. it's facts <laughs> You're so quick with it too. Like that was so witty, but like I like I want to give you props for being so funny with that. But like no, no, no. Okay. Um, like, but seriously, that I would love the KFC one. I maybe it's like odd jobs. Me. Like maybe it yeah. really is. Like I don't know, or maybe it's time traveling odd jobs. <laughs> I want to time travel. Well, either one, we'll take it. I tell you, there's like so many people who are always like, "What's the ideas? What's the ideas?" But it's also like what they're looking for at the moment too. It's always like hard. I was like, "Tell me what they're looking for, and I'll just make a show around." I really it. also just like would love like. I was manifesting the other day, just kind of thinking about what I think I want over these next couple months mm-hmm. and like a passion project, mm. like would really get me going. Yeah. You would know? this be one or yes. what are you thinking? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Like this, like Let's something with it. you would be such a passion, like, and just showing up would just be so fun. It would fun. be like relatively easy too, because there's already people who like leave, live, live these lifestyles. You know what I mean? Like the tavern, you know, we could work in a tavern together and people like <laughs> go to the Renaissance fair and live these lives. So it's like, it's easy to insert ourselves in this era. Yes. We just got to find the people. And I think that those are the kind of people that would like welcome us. Like they like, For like sure. we would blow up their tavern. Yeah. Not <laughs> blow up, not like, poof, no, like right, blow up, like, like make, make it pop, it pop in. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll get on it. I will, because I want to look for something too. I'm like, I need to do something and that'll be fun. Yeah, something I'm fun. That would be idea. cute. Okay, I'm glad you're down. I love that you're oh like down. I'm so down. Okay, I can put my glasses Can we go back then. to trauma? Yes, okay. always. We always do. Because <laughs> this is actually, it kind of made me think of you, and we don't have to like go into your detail of how it's related to you, but did you see the BB Rexa G Easy drama? No. So, okay. Ooh, so, I'm yeah, excited. you don't know. Okay, yeah. So, that, I those re- are like two characters. Like, yeah. I'm, what's going you've, on? You've like met Jeezy. You've like, yeah. yeah. I remember your story, but I think it was deleted, so we don't need to talk about it. But I remember you did a story. Well, time. and it's fine. We don't I, that like was one in. of those ones where I just probably should have never posted it because it yeah. was, he didn't do anything that crazy or awful. Yeah. Like, I, just, don't, I don't think he, like, I think that girl, like, it was like mm-hmm. a promoter just trying to get a bunch of girls somewhere. Yeah. And I was in Vegas, and I definitely wasn't, like, volunteering But I also hate that age. you have to, like, preface it by that, because you also were, like, really young, too. You know what I mean? It's yeah. not like it's anything inappropriate, of course. It's like it's like Tati being friends with James Charles at 17. Like, is it, like, illegal or, like, bad? maybe not, but is it kind of, like, weird? Yeah, you know? So, I think. Yeah, but I don't think he, he I don't think he knew anything. Like, oh, I don't okay. think, I really, it oh, was, like, know. later in life, like, I know he hates me, but I think it's, like, for a lot of reasons. Have you met him? You've, like, met Yes, him. Okay. I, like, had a, I've had a weird thing where I've dated a lot of his best friends, so oh, I would be in, like... In the same circles. Yeah, okay. like, I dated his, like, best, best friend, this guy, Goody, for, like, a minute, and it, it would just be, like, really interesting. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's, like, you're dating this guy, and that's his best friend, so you, like... He doesn't like you. For you that gotta reason. go hang out, and then it's like, yeah. but like I know you don't like me. Like I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's that's very awkward. And like Mod Son and him were like close, and like just uh, so many different. So you've just been around his people, yeah, around mutuals. I, a lot of things have happened, like it, like interactions. Like I I don't think I'm his favorite. Okay, cup well then of tea. you have a little insight maybe into this. Maybe maybe not. So I just thought it was so interesting because like I love Baby Rexa so much. She actually like was the first person to text me like congratulations on having a baby. Like I don't really? know her like that. Like we're not like super good friends, but like I we she's texted. an icon. Yeah, she's great. I love her. That's I love another about lyricist her. too. There's some good songs. Yeah, no, she's iconic, mm-hmm. and like their song together was iconic. So I was like interesting that she kind of like came for him. So basically, also he kind of sounds I don't know him at all, but he kind of sounds like a trash person from what I read with the Halsey situation. I didn't know about any of this stuff, so I like did a deep dive. I'm like, let me just a little bit know what I'm talking about. Like he's like f- boy final boss. You could tell when he performed with Britney Spears and he tried to like kiss her, and she's like, nah. You yeah. do you remember that? I was just like, she's like, me, myself, and that. And she's like, oh, no, thank you. And he's like trying to kiss her. I was like, don't. Anyways, mm-hmm. um, so yeah, BB Rexa so recently bold. posted on her story that I guess someone reached out to Collab and she, well, I have the exact quote because I didn't want to get it wrong. Um, she called him like an ungrateful, she's like, she goes, this is so embarrassing. Reach out yourself, you're an ungrateful loser. Like she kind of like went off on him on this like story. Because he did what? He wanted to like collab with her, I guess, but. Some- Again. 
you, maybe it was social media or something. Okay. You should just ask me myself. But people thought, yeah, it was kind of weird because they're like, wow, that was like a – she kind of went off on him and people didn't really get the context of it. And then she said um, that she she took it down and she apologized. Or she basically just said, like, you know, my team didn't ask me to take it down. I took it down because I didn't want the negativity. And she said, quote, trauma can lead us to react that way. And that was a traumatizing time in my life with her and GEZ. So I was just like – what happened like she didn't say anything more but I was like trauma is like a strong word and like someone like BB because again I don't know her like personally but I always like resonated with her and you always wonder why like why do I resonate with people and I'm like people have been through some traumatic you just kind of know and like it's not like she's saying they're like he did something that triggered her based on other traumas. Like, she's saying he caused yeah, her Yeah, yeah, she goes, that was a traumatizing time in my life. And I was like, and we did voice memo back in, like, last year, I think during her breakup. And I won't go into, like, details of that, but I know she, like, dealt with, like, so much more than people knew in that breakup. And I kind of felt for her. I didn't know they dated. I don't know if her and Jeezy dated. This was another guy that she broke up with last year. She had a big breakup, oh. and the guy called her, like, kind of said she was, like, too fat or gained weight or something. Do you not remember that? And then she, yeah, she gave me a little bit of insight, and it was like kind of like a tra- that was traumatizing. That men really like, yeah. used to go to war, and now they do things like that. Isn't like, that that's I, so it, No, Ugh, men, ew. I just, I yeah. can't. You know what I mean? But that's awful. Yeah. So then I was like, oh, that's so interesting. And then I remember because you were coming out, I was just like, I remember you like talking about G E Z back in the day, and I was just like, mm-hmm. I wonder what it was. I think that- I, I've had a lot of eras too, where I like someone hates me, and then I'm like, well, then I hate you right 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 you know what i mean <laughs> yeah. and uh, i th- that was kind of one of more one of those situations there were some actions where i was like what in, i don't even uh yeah uh, <laughs> nothing like a story time like a full-on tiana story time yeah, i think or could I, you I, to be honest i could i definitely could <laughs> okay. but i dude so yesterday trisha and i don't even know if i should talk about this okay okay <laughs> I need to know. But if I'm, I have to tell you. Okay, yes. And if I'm going to tell anyone, I'm going to tell oh, you. thank you. I love it. I love, <laughs> I love an exclusive. <laughs> no, I really do. I woke up yesterday. Got it. And this might bite me in the ass. Listen. But I woke up yesterday to a text. And I'll tell you from who. But okay, are we bleeping it or are you going to just say it? Um, I would have to bleep okay, it, okay, right? Okay, okay, okay. Of someone that I talked about on the canceled podcast texting me saying – and texting Brooke as well and people that I know. Uh. And like – I'm going to beat your fucking ass when I see you. Like, it's it's fade on sight. Like, I'm going to fuck you up. Like, Is you, someone like, you know personally? Kind of, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, it is someone I know personally. Like, you could actually see this person. I was commentating on public drama. You know what I mean? Like That's the most shit when people are like, why are you talking about this? It's like, because it's so public and it's like everyone's talking about it. And And I also just... And I did, this wasn't even on my radar for that I was going to like, that was going to get me in trouble. Like, and I think I'm the type of person where like, like I, we joke about you're like this as well. Like, and like you and I as well, like people are always talking about us and joking about us. So like we can kind of take that when other people do that. And I almost welcome that a lot of the time. Like if I'm doing something crazy or if I get in a scandal or something embarrassing happens to me and people are like joking around about it. Like I'm usually there to like laugh and welcome it. And you know what I mean? And like, you kind of have to, I got threatened. Was it that serious? Yeah. Like I'm, I'm going to have to like dead ass, take a bodyguard everywhere I go for the next like six months. But was what you said serious? Like, was it a serious topic that you were commenting on? Okay. Anyways, we're back. back. I have to debrief her. Yeah. I was like, ah, (laughs) yeah. Like, and I feel like a lot of the time as well, like, I'm talking about like an influencer, yeah. like like I'm usually talking about like a little IG model girl or like mm-hmm. a TikTok girl or whatever. I'm like that doesn't scare me as much. Like when I'm cracking jokes about this, yeah. like shit like that. But I just got in trouble. I I like I and it's uh, did it like you, like did it make you like actual scared? Well, I think I'm also just like I said that Cody stuff on stage, and then there's like other. Sh- I've, I said about someone else going viral right now and people just te- like I, I just like in the past two weeks I've gotten you in a decent it. amount of trouble for shit I've been saying and like it goes in waves <sighs> yeah. you know what I mean how do you deal with it I try to just shut the fuck up for a week but here I am on just yeah. trash <laughs> like, like, but again like I feel like it is hard with podcasts first of all you talk we talk so much right like you talk so much that you like forget what you say mm. or like people analyze every little thing and mm. especially you because your guys' podcast is so big it's under more scrutiny. And, yeah, I feel like when you talk about one thing, then it becomes, like, a snowball. It's like, well, let's talk about this, this, and this. But I feel like, like, the stuff on stage was never meant to even be out there. It's not like you put it out there. And you the didn't whole put it the tour, they, like, they kept all of our secrets from every single leg of every single show. And I said crazy about a lot. Like, true. Yeah. But, like, crazy 
shit about a lot of people. I told stories I could never tell on canceled, like ever. And they all like got kept. And then this last run, I don't know. I don't know if it was that the tour was over and people were like Didn't not care. worried about ruining it for other future shows. What or, city was it in that they recorded it? Like all of the California ones. Maybe it's like mm. just because they're California girls. Maybe it was like I was talking about more famous people than normal. Like I don't fucking know that is why. Weird. Like, were you upset that I got leaked? Were you just like this wasn't meant to be public anyway? I definitely had I known how viral a lot of the things I was gonna say were, I would have like not said a lot of them. I, and it's like it sounds so stupid. Like yeah. I'm sitting here and I'm like, I literally can't believe I got leaked. <laughs> like Tanner, you're talking to thousands of people on a stage. But no, it worked for you guys. But I got yeah. comfortable. Yeah, after doing 50 shows mm-hmm. of exposing so many people by show 59 you're like okay it's been fine this whole time yeah but then the other one i just got in trouble straight up for something i said on canceled so it's like you know what i mean yeah, like yeah that's why well but they're they're right there to show your credibility in this in this particular one especially the cody co situation it's like it's not like you were trying to like bring it up again for any sort of attention it was like something that wasn't meant to be out there you never made it like a title and thumbnail which you totally could have and should have because it's your you know what you've gone through so it is interesting people like turn it into something like yeah that. I, I almost just feel like i this has always happened in the 10 years i've been doing this like there's just waves of yeah. like everyone's pissed at you or waves of everything you say going like do you feel everyone's i feel like not people i don't know maybe no, I, I don't, don't feel think, it i don't think like the public is mad at me that much You're just certain i think people. maybe some like stands of certain people might be like a little mad or whatever but i i almost mean in my personal life yeah like i feel like every single day this week like something i've said has gotten me in personal trouble oh and gosh. i'm like fuck i hate these yeah like, and it's only tuesday <laughs> yeah, like, <what? laughs> it's like how much of the week is gonna go on <laughs> oh my god <laughs> just like Ever so literally but i yeah. know that it's like that comes with what I do and who I am. And yeah. I, I really am like, I don't get me wrong. I love to like exaggerate and dramatize when it's right. You know what yeah. I mean? Like if I'm, if I, I love to dramatize when it's like, I'm talking about like, you know what I mean? Like just like a day I had or like yeah, of course. stupid or yeah. like even today, like instead of being like, I have a migraine, but my head is pounding yeah, and it's yeah. like, <laughs> like that. But like when I'm talking about other people, like, I'm going to tell the truth and yeah, only the truth. As and is. I just like. <sighs> yeah. Well, I hope you don't stop. I hope you, I know you won't because won't. you've always been like that person. And that's why people love you. And also, again, why you're a good role model. If anything, people... it's like just gearing me, I think, for this book still. Like it's like. Well, that's the real tea right there. I feel like then you can really just like let it all out. And because books like the Rebel Wilson one too, it's like, you know, you have to pass like legality, right? Like legal looks at things. And it's like just make sure everything's like lined up. Although she did have to remove that part about Sasha Baron Cohen from her book. Did you hear that? What do you mean? So she said like he asked her to finger his ass or something like mm-hmm. that. And they had her <laughs> remove it even though. After it was published? After it was published. From so they're the, printing. From the European um, prints. Because it was graphic I don't know or like a no. slander related thing? Oh, must have been slander related. I don't know. His people got her to take it out somehow. But but she said when she was promoting the book that like, it has to get passed through leak legal. Like people have to verify that's happened and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I don't know. It does suck. It does suck because in that situation, like we talked about it so much, but I'm just like, man, like she wasn't believed for so long and then she has to take it out of her book. I'm like, yeah. That, that would like crush me. I really feel for her in that situation. That would yeah. crush me. It really it's a story she's talked about before, before naming his name in the book. She had talked about the story a lot throughout the years. Mm-hmm. And so I feel like, again, not to say like one thing's more credible than the other, but it shows credibility. Just like you've talked about you the situation. Yeah. And anyways, it's, it's, it's really interesting. Even lately, I've had a lot of people from my life, like ever since I said that I'm actively writing this book um, mm. and talking about it and it going a little more like, you know, people like knowing that I'm writing this book. I've had so many people who like wronged me and probably know they're going to get written about, like reach out. And like, wow. I got lunch with someone the other day, um, that was a big part of my life. And I hadn't, I'm no, I'm no longer close with, it was very much like a, I don't know, like just an interesting catch up situation and just kind of reflecting on eras of life. And even this person was kind of like, so are you going to write about this? So are you going to, oh, are, yes. you, are you going to talk about this? And oh, it's like, no. and then you start feeling bad, but then you're like, this is my story yeah. and my truth. And it's wild. It's also wild. This is so random, but I have this psychic, like 
forever ago when I was like 19, like predict my whole life, like not my whole life, but up until I was like 30, they were giving me all these like predictions of all these things that were going to happen. And every, like every single thing has come true (gasps) that they predicted. And the only thing left on this list is that when I'm 28, like I'm going to go through something crazy. That's like a legal battle crazy. And like it, that aligns perfectly with, no, Oh, like, uh, what do you do in that situation? If you think that's going to happen, do you like wait till you're 30 to publish the book? Like, you're like, let me get past 28. I know. And they said it was something legal. Yeah, Ugh. I know. Oh my God. who? T- where is this psychic? That's wild. I know. Usually they don't tell you bad stuff that's going to happen. No, does she like, She's honest. it was crazy. She was like, your current boyfriend's going to cheat on you in six months. Like, you're going to do this, when this, you saw this, her at and the this. Time. Yeah, like, and all of it happened. Like, you're going to live here. Oh you're going to, your parents God. and you were going to fall out at this time. And like, Jeez. all this, like. And I was like, you're lying. Like, what the f*** is this f***ing hate piece you were just yeah, giving me, right? Yeah, she gave you, like, and, and it, it all happened. happened. Do, you, do you like knowing? Like, are you, like, prepared? You're like, okay, I'm prepared at 28. That's going to happen. Or would you rather have not known? I guess you went to the psychic, so you were looking for answers. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I Like, I definitely, it, like, it sparks a thought in my head. I've, I've just had a lot of weird psychic experiences in life. Like, and I do feel very, like, I'm like, I feel very clairvoyant. I don't feel clairvoyant. That's like, what is that? That's when you, I don't know what that is. Like just tapped in with that kind of stuff. Like, mm. like psychics always reach out to me and tell me like messages from the dead that like, what? That like, really? Yeah. They're, oh my God. Like just, I could tell you like so many different experiences, but even just like with Makoa, I had all these psychics reach out. Like you're, you're meant to be with him. You were meant to find oh. love in Hawaii in the water and whatever, like all this stuff. And it's like, Ooh. yeah, I was talking about this yesterday, but it's like, with Makoa, like, I literally just woke up one day and I was like, I have to, like, I was going through it a lot. I was going to get a BBL and then I was like, oh, yeah. I can't do this. <laughs> and like, I don't need a BBL. And I woke up one day and I was like, I have to go to Hawaii. I don't know why, but I need to go there. I need to go there. And then I just like ended up meeting him by like, like, it really like made me think about fate more. Like just. That is wild that you just were like called there to like Hawaii. I had this yeah. night on tour where like one of the, like towards the last run of shows, I was like crying to Makoa about like. Like, I'm so happy with where I'm at with my adopted family. And they're the mm-hmm. best people in the world. And I wouldn't want it any other way. They're so amazing. But obviously, there's always going to be certain little moments where it's just like, it's like, it can be sad. Yeah. Like, you know, that these two people, like, gave birth to you. And, like, they don't mm-hmm. get to see anything, like, any of your wins or successes. They're not there. And I was, like, freaking out about it. And the next day, this psychic, and I, like, crying and sh- And the next day, the psychic reached out telling me that, like, my grandma from the dead was telling me that she saw me crying the night before and, like, that, like, I'm going to be a great mother one day to a daughter, like, with Makoa and, like, all this stuff that was, like, oh, my god, like, you know what I mean? And it was, like, it's not like I posted that I was crying about that that night before. Like, how would... How did that happen? Yeah, they just like reached out to you. They were she just was like- making TikToks about it. Like, I don't I don't know this girl, Tana Mojo, but like I'm getting a message. Wait, what? For, oh, like, it's not even someone you talk to. No, like I, I, I'm i getting a message and then it got a little bit of traction. I started messaging her and she was like, yeah, I don't know you. But like. That is so wild. Oh my. And do you like, again, do you like knowing that? Or do you think it's like, okay, I can't. This up. Does it, like, does it have something in your head where you're like, okay, I, I got to. I don't know. I, it's just weird. Like how many times will things like that happen to me before I like, cause like you, I don't, I don't personally innately believe in like, like I wasn't like born believing like psychics are real and people speak to the dead yeah, or whatever, yeah, but how many experiences can I have? It's just like so real. Where like, like there was this time I was at Jojo Siwa's house, right? Love a Jojo so story. <laughs> and I'm, I'm at her house for this party that she's having. And, um, there was a psychic there that like came up to me and she was like, your grandparents are here with me. And she was like imitating their voices. And like my grandma had a really high voice. My grandpa had like a really low raspy voice. Like no one would ever know that. Right. Yeah. And my grandma like would always feed, hum- we would always feed hummingbirds in her yard. And she like this psychic who doesn't know me from Adam or Eve comes up to me and she's like, your grandma sounds like this. She's showing me hummingbirds. And oh my, my, when my grandpa died, he had all these like butterflies on his casket, like white butterflies and yellow butterflies. Oh my so my, gosh. my mom would always say like, if you see a white or yellow butterfly, like that's him, like whatever. Oh. Right. And she was like, he's showing me white and yellow butterflies. And then my last moment with my grandpa before he died, I was like two dude. Okay. Or like whatever. We were on this beach in Galveston, Texas. And, um, I had like a little purple, like swimsuit on and there was a photo of it. And the psychic at Jojo Siwa's house was like, he's showing me you guys on this beach in Texas. You oh have a purple swimsuit. Gosh. Like they're saying that they're here with you during this time. Cause that was the time that my parents were like suing me and 
Uh, and like, like how weird is that? Yeah, like a just random person that knows like, and I don't even know about your grandparents. I knew nothing about it's that. Like, I it's like it's all, yeah. it's like not online. Like it's all, it'll be like my thoughts and it, you know? I wonder what that is. That, yeah, I, there's nothing, because I can't explain that either. It's almost like. I don't know because I don't I don't know about that stuff either like psychics how that works like at all talk especially like science like stop talking hearing from the dead like how does that work like completely are they hearing voices because I always ask them I'll grill people when yeah. they come up to me and tell me stuff like this they'll be like they're just with me I see them or I hear them or I you know wow it's almost like the movie ghost I guess where it's just like you can almost like feel the presence but what's the movie ghost you don't think wait oh my god wait really I'm like a bad movie watcher like I watch things when people tell me to watch oh things. I feel like it's like a, it's like that iconic movie where like Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore are doing like the clay pottery scene you know where he's like behind her mm-hmm. Do you know? I've seen that yeah, yeah so he's basically she loses her husband and he like comes back through her through Whoopi Goldberg is like the medium and it's like not funny it's like a real it's like a drama movie yeah I have to watch it tonight yeah I have to write it it's, down oh it's so sad too it's like an iconic movie it's like so sad I really do love shit and like he that, saves though. it. He ends up saving her from like literally getting like a murdered. Like it's crazy. That's I'm watching it literally yeah, tonight, it's, Trisha. Oh, it's such a good movie. And it has the song like Unchained Melody at the end. And then finally, when he like finishes protecting her, she like lets him go and he like goes off to like heaven and he finally can like cross over. And I'm, <gasps> it's actually like so I know. We were talking about death today at lunch. And I was like so sad. I was just like, Moses like he, I'm like, I'm not gonna know it's you. I was like, it's like the water coming through the ceiling. He's like, I'll unclog the toilets, you'll know it's me. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, okay. But then Moses. I made me really sad. I was like, oh my god, I don't know. Like it death Moses. makes me so I hate talking about it. It's like so sad. And, and Ghost me is too. so sad because it's like, yeah. yeah, she like lost this guy. And I think he might have actually been, that's how he died. He got killed. Anyways, it's, and then Patrick Rose is dead, so it makes it even more sad. It's mm-hmm. But it's, it's a good one to watch. It's good to watch in the code. It's very romantic. It's very like sweet. It's like love. I'm watching it tonight. That's wild. It's a really classic movie. Do you but. believe in like, like to that note of like psychic sh- whatever do you believe in like the universe and like fate like especially with your yes. situation with oh, like moses and that stuff? a thousand percent that's why i was trying to explain like the psychic thing I'm like because i believe in that a thousand percent mm-hmm. fate what's meant to happen what's meant to be yours like that kind of stuff where it's like that's why i stopped worrying about stuff a little bit because i'm like i feel like whatever's meant to be like will happen and you can't like fuck it up like what's meant for you will be yours what's not meant for you is like gonna find mm-hmm. its way out of your life yeah i believe in it when you met moses did you feel like you had known him so much longer than Oh, yeah. I feel like not maybe right away, but there was definitely a connection because we met during quarantine. So we were like together every single day for like, you know, months, you know, mm-hmm. like from the beginning of quarantine. And so like, yeah, it felt it felt deeper. Even now it feels deeper. I was like, it feels like we knew each other in a different life. I feel like we'll know each other in the next life because it does really make me sad thinking about death. I'm like, God, I wish we met each other sooner because we don't have that. You know, we only have like 40 years together or something. You know, it's That's like really the sad. sweetest sentiment, though. But I think we'll find each other in the next one, too. I believe in like lives. I don't know. It's, it's it, But it's hard to imagine, right? Like souls, like. Are mm. we in different? Were we in different time periods? I don't know. Mm-hmm. And that stuff like kind of f- my mind, but I feel like it must be a thing. Mm-hmm. I yeah, McCall kind of made me believe in that, like the universal yeah, what timing. Did he say? Fate. Not even just what he said, just like we really weren't supposed to ever meet. Like you know what I mean? Like do you ever like? How did it happen? Out of all the people, everywhere yeah, you could have been, and like you don't live on that island, and yeah. like why was I drawn to go to Hawaii? Why were you there? Like you know what I and just yeah. like. Even just, like, upon meeting him, I immediately knew. Yeah. Like, I was just like, oh. Oh, like, it was, like, instant for yes. you. Yes. And that never happens oh, for me. I'm the f***ing polar opposite of that. You know? That's kind of that's kind of how we were at the beginning. It got, like, rough. I think we had, like, a rough time, you know, for a minute because I was pushing him away so much. But I did think at the beginning it was that, like, instant soul connection. Then I got, like, scared. I was and just I'm like, like what did he met. say? When he slid in your DMs. Um, the, oh, I can say this part. Yeah, when he slid into my DMs. We just we just looked at, wait. Oh, my God, wait. Can I share, can I share the one? Tell me yeah, what. I just DM'd her, and I didn't even know if she would ever see that. Yeah. You know, oh. She just... Yeah. Because we weren't following each other. It mm-hmm. we went to our request. Okay, so that's a good one, because I... And even I, that's, like, fate, if you think about fate, it. It's fate, because I never check DMs, period, but also just not from people, like, I mean, what did you have, like, a couple thousand followers, and yeah, I'm like, you know, I don't see... You don't yeah. see that. You don't see the verification. You know, so it was so weird. I, like, then I went to his profile, and it was so random, because I never do. I was, like, bored on, like, Friday night. It was, like, the Friday before lockdown, and then I went to just see... You know how you, like, go to like you go to Zach Efron's page like maybe he's messaged me and like you go to see if they messaged yes whatever. and that's what I did with his <laughs> <Me>. <laughs> yeah I did it to everyone I'm like maybe they messaged me and so I just did it randomly to his and he had just messaged me like minutes before it was so weird and see that is that's like crazy yeah that was crazy I saved our first text in one of these let me just find it we DM that whole Friday oh asked her to go on a date we, they went on a date and then the world shut down Mm. To make sure we can be together. Yeah, yes. it was. Yeah, it was. That's Aww, a, most, I I do you? I, for anybody who did not, I, I oh, just yeah, need everyone in the world to hear that Moses off camera just said like, 
that he DM'd Trisha before quarantine and then he said, so the world shut down so we could be together. <laughs> And it's true because we would have never been able to date because he lived in Inglewood. I was in Studio City. Like it would have just been like he's traveling all the time. We would have never like been able to date. I fucking love you yeah. guys so fucking much. Okay, this is the but like this is kind of intense and people. Are, I feel like I feel like people are gonna judge us for this because it was like our these were when we were texting the first night. Oh my god! No one's this judging is, you for this. It's kind of it's actually really cringy, but I don't know why I like it. I just remember texting and it was like so intense. It was like, okay, oh my god. <laughs> You are gonna be like, wow. Have this. you ever talked about this? Uh, I don't think we've read the text because it is kind of cringy, but I'll, I'm I'll so read it. Excited. People, are I love, love, it. I love, like, I love corny. <laughs> like, I'm not this is cringy. corny. I just, again, it's it's kind of weird because I like kind of cut off some of it, so I just have this one. But I'm like, I'm in the blue, I guess. I'm like, but if not, you're the last person I talked to. Like, what am I talking about? Did I say I if going? the world ends? Probably. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I can't see what's above that. I'm like, but if not, you're the last person I talked to. And Moses goes, and the first person you loved. I was like, oh, wow, on the first night. <laughs> oh my god, iconic. And then, and then I go, I mean, and then he goes, wink. I'm like, this is accurate, but wouldn't that be tragic? I meet my soulmate and die in the same day. He's like, we are the real Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> That's not even cringy. You're so funny. You no, overthink but, everything. And then I'm like, oh my God, but you don't die. You have too much to live for. I don't. Oh my God, I'm so dramatic. And he's like, if you do, I will follow. Moses, <laughs> that's, that's so cute. <laughs> this was dying This was other. after your first date? Uh, no, we hadn't oh, even met. <laughs> this is our first night texting. That's so fucking iconic. <laughs> that but when, was... <laughs> when you know, you know, and Moses knew. He, I'm like, was so drama. I was like, I'm like, I'm going to die tonight. So. Oh my God, me as <laughs> though like in those eras of time when you're going through Just it like so that's dramatic. how i would talk to everyone yeah I'm like, i guess it is kind of weird like looking back but in the moment i was like wow this is so great that's yeah. so yeah. cute but i know what you mean yeah like the divine intervention the fate of it all mm. like it is kind of weird and now you guys met. just have two beautiful babies and life is so good yeah i can't even i just what have you noticed any differences <laughs> in two kids versus one like not yet because she's so like little like when you like it is crazy how like easy newborns are because they really just sleep and eat and poop mm -hmm. like it's like actually so easy they sleep most of the day like literally like 16 hours a day mm -hmm. so probably more actually maybe like 18 hours so it's like pretty easy also i will say my husband mm -hmm. does like get up with the baby and i've always i i always tell him like my tell-all book will be like i'll tell everyone one day that you really did get up with them every single night like every single night he's gotten up with the baby so but that's iconic yeah like he's that's goals like yeah. that's the that's definitely the goal and this time it's helped so much with like my mental health recovery like i feel like i'm much mentally better this time around not that he didn't do it the first time but i really just like healed myself i don't know like miraculously well and you also and knew like the first time there's probably a lot of anxieties of things being the first time yes yes yeah and now it's that. like i've done this yeah you kind of know you're kind of i feel very confident in it and so it's really about malibu just making sure she feels still like really loved and she doesn't feel like she's been like replaced by the thing but yeah so far so good but i'm sure it'll get more difficult as she starts running and walking and doing did you with what was malibu's first word again uh bubblegum was her first word yeah did she have another one but bubblegum yeah is that <laughs> Nuts, well, it's Miss Rachel, this icky sicky bubblegum. She all go bubblegum. But that's still like that's a big word. Yeah, she like, says that's smart. She says big words now. She's like, yeah. She's if I good. had kids, and this this might say more about me than anything, <laughs> I would be like seeding their first word. Like I'd be trying to get like a certain word out oh, of them. Like tell like oh, but. It, it's kind of hard to do because I feel like when they're that little, like maybe now you can tell Malibu something and she would repeat it, but I feel like when yeah. they're that little, they can't. But like, what would you like, do? Just like I'm trying, like what if you just kept saying the word like glitter over and over again, like around Elvis, and then it like oh. it was like bubblegum and glitter or something like you know yeah, what I mean? Probably like or you just play them like a song or something that has glitter over and over. They'd probably yeah. get it because the song seems to have they get it. yeah. But yeah. That would, you, would you want to be your kid's first word? Oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I would love to see you be uh, like. It's so interesting though. You said you're gonna have a daughter because it's like. You well, don't I, that's want... just what that psychic said. I mean, right? But and I feel like it, I could see it for you. But like you, I don't feel want like a kids. boy. No, I want kids. Oh, you do. I, I you just, just don't, don't want to give birth. Yeah, never. So you get like a surrogate. So adopt or a surrogate for sure. Oh, okay, because you do want kids. Yeah. Oh my god, Cute. I would love to be a parent. I just, I don't. I'm scared to push anything out of this situation. Well, I would like, say if you accidentally get pregnant, you could just, C section. Yeah, it was so easy. Mine was so easy. Like we did, this was scheduled this time. Did they put you under? No, no, they they give you your whole bottom half goes numb with the epidural. I got the epidural. Um, they did miss a couple times. It did kind of hurt a little bit, but um, yeah. but but once it. Oh my god, it was the best day of my life. You have to have a great pain tolerance, though. I don't. Really? I don't know. 
I don't feel like I do. I, I feel like it. I'm a baby. Like when I have to like get blood. Like you just said, the epidural kind of hurt a little bit. Like like yeah. stubbing your toe kind of hurts. Well, a they little missed bit. a bunch of times. I kept trying like five times. But that like, hurts <laughs> so bad. Yeah, but anyways, once it goes numb, mm. that day I, I was so happy. I was like, I'm like, this is the best because they put a catheter up there, so you don't even go pee after because you're just like numb for the whole day. I'm mm. like, this is the best day of my life. Why do I feel so good? He's like, this is why drug addicts do drugs because yeah. you don't, don't feel your body. So. Well, and like your body probably just hurts so much and whatever. Like when you're pregnant, it's probably exhausting. Oh yeah. To, and like, now all of a sudden you're numb and feel nothing. You're just like, oh, ooh, this is the best. So it's actually kind of like I love the feeling, and I think that's why I'm addicted. I was addicted to plastic surgery because I love being put under. Because have you, you you had your nose done, right? Mm. So you've been put under. Yeah. You know the feeling, don't you? Love it, just like drifting off, like oh, okay, bye. <laughs> like I kind of live for that, like you know. I I get where you're coming from. I do. I just have severe anxieties about like coming out of it and like exposing my whole life or like saying crazy. Sh- like I like oh. <laughs> I need my wisdom teeth out and I won't get them out. That's your fear of saying something you shouldn't be saying. Yes. Well, no one's or gonna like, know. <laughs> like I I just have this like vivid image of like getting my wisdom teeth out and then like trying to f- my dentist or something. But the the C section is that's a vibe. Like no contractions. Like why push? Oh ever. my god, it was out in five minutes. Like mm. literally five minutes and no contractions, nothing. Though and again, it's nothing painful. Maybe the epidural because they missed. But once the epidural didn't miss, it didn't. I didn't feel it in there. So I think none of it was awful. Like people are scared maybe because it's, it's surgery, but I don't know. It's means. being pregnant. Also, like that's I, I talk about this way too f-ing much, but like. The idea of even like jumping up and down while you're pregnant, or like, why would you jump up and down? I don't know. Just like out just of excitement, like, like yeah, like I don't oh jump my god. Up, yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, or like going anywhere, like being in the car, like everything. But it's kind of a serve. Like you know, it only happens like for me <laughs> twice in my life, right? You know, so it's just like I, I'm gonna miss that, and you get so much like <laughs> yeah, that. you get a lot of tension, mm, so <laughs> and much. That last month of pregnancy, like I'll be with Moses, and guys are just like, oh my god, you're beautiful, you're doing a beautiful thing. Like people just like kind of like fall over themselves for you. That they is kind of crazy. It, pay for groceries like it's really kind of crazy so i don't know it's a good experience but i get it if you like don't want to be but you kind of just like like damn <laughs> no one's ever like, but you could sell me on anything trisha you could be like i'm going like i was gonna say something crazy i won't say it okay but like you could just be doing anything and i'd be like now i want to do that i think also too like if you like with i don't know it's kind of fun when you have that partner that's like in it with you and you go to like appointments together i don't mm. know i think it's fun but if you're that's true you could and that's are, what like, the thing is is yeah, i like think everything is worst case wrong. scenario and yeah it but. could be like that but that's how you when you have kids too i always just think everything i'm like oh my god make sure you do this and keep them away and put stairs on like it's just like, you're constantly worried yeah so um but yeah i think i could see it happening with you. We'll see. And we'll it's fun see. To, like try. I like, definitely that's want kids, and then like, oh my god, and then my kids are gonna have the best like Malibu and Elvis, like older little I cousins. No, that'd or, be so cute, actually. Oh my, I to, can't like, wait. Come over for the party. See, that's a, Leo Skeppy. <laughs> why would you say that? Like literally, <laughs> like our kids Leo are gonna be Skeppy. best friends. <laughs> I know. I feel like that. <laughs> That's what it like transcends, right? When it's the second generation that becomes like, friends, that oh would be my everything. God. Yeah. And like, duh, I'm calling you. I'm gonna be like, how do I do this? Like, oh you're the only God. person who gets me. That'd be so. But you know, a lot of people have babies recently because like, you're friends with Whitney. She's had her baby, yeah, and so that's I feel like true. you have a whole baby boom. But I would love to, yeah. Anything. I, I'm calling you for sure. You're my first call because we're so similar. But like Whitney too. <laughs> yeah, that's... yeah, yeah. I just think and it's like I don't know. I liked the pregnant belly, but yeah, this last one was hard. But you're young, so I feel like younger pregnancies are easier. But, oh, I don't know. You know, I don't know if I'm cut out for it, but surrogate. Yeah, Maybe. that's a vibe too, honestly. Yeah. Like I, I watch the Kardashians. I'm like, oh, that's also seems easy. I don't yeah. know. It seems kind of simple. Mm, it's I, I don't, don't know. But then Chloe was like, oh, I didn't bond with my yeah, second one. That's that is like scary. Like so, obviously being pregnant with your baby has got to create like a a bond. A bond. Yeah, I guess but, there's different strokes for everyone. I just really like I said, I like always loved trying to get pregnant. It was fun. So now I'm not trying to get pregnant is not going to be fun. Mm-hmm. I had to wait two more weeks to have sex, but I'm just like, what do we do? I don't know. That Let is us know. crazy. Birth control's hard. <laughs> That's like the first time you have sex after you're pregnant. What's that like? <laughs> I mean, the same, I think. <laughs> really? Well, right now I'm in like diapers. So you're just like bleeding for six weeks. So then once you're out of the diapers, you're just like really to be out of diapers. But I guess good. I don't have, I didn't have vaginal birth. So I don't know. Like for me, it's like normal. Oh, so it's like, yeah, that's true. That's but maybe true. vaginal it's, birth's normal too. I don't know. Like it goes yeah. back to normal. Maybe it like shrinks itself back up. I have no idea. Yeah. People, so I've heard some people say it's like a pole. Like it feels like a metal pole in your post. Whoa. No, after. I mean, not the first well, time, yeah. but. That's wild. But I haven't done it the second time, so maybe it'll feel like that now. I'll let you know how it goes. Please but. do. I'm not getting up on the edge of my seat. I it's, need to know everything. I was like, so, okay. Because <laughs> I feel like I feel like sex after that, after vaginal. Uh, you know what I thought the misconception was when I was pushing the first time? I thought your vagina opens up like really big and the baby comes out. And I was like, is there like a dark hole down there? It doesn't. Right. Where do you think? Because don't they say 10 So where do you think the 10 centimeters is dilated? Like what's dilated 10 centimeters? 10 centimeters is what, babe? This it's big? Like above the like your cervix? 
so you don't see it. So basically, when you're pushing in the straps, like your vagina looks the same. I thought it opens up really big, but it doesn't. It just stays it doesn't like that. open up at all. Like it Not really that like part. Not the lips or anything. I think it's internal that opens up. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Oh my god! I thought it was like yes. this like, black hole that opened up. Oh my! There, like I, there are certain people like even f-ing them. I'm, I was like, <laughs> no. Like this is it, like huge. Oh, because you saw oh, a baby's head. Okay, was it a girl that you were having sex with, and you're just like, oh, that's no, too big? No, no, no. Oh. I'm saying like, like, <laughs> like if a guy is like huge, like that's too big. Oh, got it, got it. I like, thought you saw so a girl I'm saying, like, like open up big or something. Like no, <laughs> I was like you saw no. the black hole. <laughs> no, no, but I'm saying like the size of a head coming out is like. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like the way bigger. The, oh yeah, I don't know how people do it. Honestly, like, that's why I wanted to do it because I was like, oh, that's gonna feel cool. But I, I kind of she got stuck in there somewhere. But I do. Think no, it's you're a, winning. I think. Vaginal birth is a sleigh. I think that is cool. Like, if you could just, like, push that baby out and they just, like, throw it on it's top of you. It's my worst fear. Yeah, then do the C-section. A lot of people do schedule C-sections anyways. Our doctors, like, for vanity reasons, people just, like, Where do you go? Like, it. what hospital? It's not a bougie one. It's, like, right here. It's actually really, like, I, I like, I went out the next day, like, after 24 hours. There's, like, no food. There's, like, nothing happening. It's not bougie. Senior Was that sign crazy right? when you saw, um... People taking photos of you already out after giving birth. Like, did oh you my see God, that? That yeah, that was weird. Like, who was it? A paparazzi or like just a no, person? No, just some weirdo. I was like, okay. And then like, this is your own fans. I'm like, okay. Well, they're still a freak. I don't care if they're my fan or a hater. They're freaks. I'm, I'm sure yeah. it was like a, some weirdo hater person being like, look at this or whatever. But even if it was a fan, I'm like, that's weird. Because she was like yeah. so fresh, and I was with like my dad, who's like never in pictures with me, and I was like, you're weird. And it was like yeah. from behind and just mm-hmm. creepy. I don't know. I don't like it. That, no, that's I, weird. I didn't like how that made me feel either. I was like, yeah, yeah. especially because we didn't announce it yet. We were like waiting because mm-hmm. we were just like waiting like a couple weeks just mm-hmm. to like chill with it and I was mm-hmm. so sad because my first birth, birth I missed My Chemical Romance it was a week after I gave birth and this was I missed canceled I was so bummed <laughs> Trisha, was there's no devastated. way you just said that no I'm, I'm not kidding I, I felt even worse about it because I was like Damn, like I Brooke told me that you came on this podcast and you sat in this chair and you were you were sad that you couldn't come uh, to the canceled show, but then you went on this whole tangent that by the time there's another one, you think we're not <laughs> going to want you. Yes. And I that's why I texted Damn. you. I didn't put that in my text, but you have lost your <laughs> marbles. Okay. We will always want you. Aww. It's actually very funny. We like at every show, like even like when dropouts came out, we like people thought it was you, Aww. and it was no, but it was like really f-ing funny to watch. Like a lot of people put their phones up, like ah, and then be like, no, no, I <laughs> dropouts is way more popular. They no, get like a million views. <laughs> no, I they, but like people like the, just wanted the synonymous of the cancel. I know. I feel like. Legend, first of all, so don't even compare yourself to any other influencer. However, it's just even Paige (laughs) came out at one show and she was like, I'm not Trisha, okay? (laughs) Like, we we have a Los Angeles show in October, and I know how you feel about Los Angeles shows, yeah, yeah. yeah. However, I would love there to be a world where, like, maybe we don't invite any other influencer, like, I'll make it however. (laughs) LA, you have to. No, I don't. It's gotta be like the pull out where you just bring out everybody, like, everyone. No, I I think I want to, I, I, or. Or if and I you know what you guys pick, are doing it too. I think Brooke told me it's like I won't say it, but it's like we, a huge venue. I think we're switching. The, oh. You know what's funny is we we were supposed to do the Greek theater, right? Yeah, and it's six thousand people, and I was like, the only way I would ever do that is if we did a show in collaboration with Trish, because I don't think that we <laughs> you, could ever. First of all, you would sell it. I'd sell like three hundred. Literally, I'm not being like humble. I did a tour, and it's like three hundred people come. <laughs> We, they were booking like a thousand venue seats and I was like we had 300 people and you know how humbling it is to have like a 1200 seat venue and like 300 people it's like a line of people right you, I mean it's iconic but this, you stop it right now okay I'm being truthful I'm if not even you being did humble. shows right now thousands and thousands of people would come I that's know why I don't it. do shows because I mean people say that and I'm like N- you guys don't know like they don't it's fine. I like you need to come people, to some but. of our shows to realize how many people would come to yours, I think, because it's like, Trisha, it's insane. Like, oh, I, I don't think we did. We In the 65 shows we did or whatever, I don't think there was one crowd without, like, several sets of people in I Heart Trisha Paytas shirts. Well, like, that's because of you. That's You started that phenomenon. You started the I Heart Trisha Paytas shirt. You did. Moses, how do you deal? How no, do you deal? No, it is. You no, wore it. You wore it. She'll sell out the venue. She would oh, sell. My, okay, Moses also thinks like the Kardashians copy me. So no, like, Moses. <laughs> it, oh my God, Moses. I'm so happy you're here. Um, I'm not even kidding. Um, if you didn't want to do LA and you wanted to come to any other show too, yeah, I, I feel would like love. I would show up at like a like a New Orleans show, well, not New Orleans, <laughs> but like a, like a random. Sorry like, for talking. 
But you, I brought Trisha. Um, I did some voodoo on the whole crowd. Not kidding. I mean, yeah, I, this, to. I will come. I will definitely come to one for Please. Sure. I'll come to two. I want to do the first, this first leg of the tour. And then my pregnancy was just kind of weird this time around. So I like, yeah. didn't couldn't, but I really wanted to. I, oh my God. I could never tour pregnant. I couldn't do anything pregnant. I couldn't jump pregnant. <laughs> but like, I would. Uh, that, and that's, I was going to ask you, and I just felt wrong asking you when you were in the like couple weeks before you were going to give birth. Like, oh, and yeah. Then, and I know you, there would have been a part of you that still would have like tried. And then I'm like, what if she gives birth think, on stage? Yeah. No, Paige did gauge it for me. And I was like, I really was like, maybe. And I told her, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to have birth because I thought I was going to give birth beginning of May. So I thought, oh, I might be able to. And then, yeah. And then I felt, I was like, damn, uh, I no, missed it. I, w- w- there's so much time left in life to do it and don't ever think just that I can't even I believe like you missed, said that you mi- I feel like you miss out so much when you're pregnant I'm just like oh man like, kind of like what you're saying like Girl, you're like, like rebirthing King Charles <laughs> like you're doing something he survived like, <laughs> <laughs> he was fine like, no but like for real no you didn't miss out on anything and we except everything it. your tour was iconic and I'm so happy for you and you guys are going back out you. in the fall yes we are and do you know um, what day it starts or have you not have I haven't yet? I can't like say for sure now because we're still like really solidifying everything but it's looking like like a September, October like wow. situation and it's a lot of cities that we missed and that people like it's a lot of bigger cities and venues too. Oh I, I think we're finally getting to do Vegas and Brooke will get to do Arizona. Oh, and like, your home you didn't yeah. your hometowns? Yeah, we did Arizona in the very beginning. It was yeah. like our first show ever and it was like uh, like a hundred people. Like we were just trying it out. Wow. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to go back. You have to come. I would love to. You guys have such a good format, and you guys like have so many people come. It's like amazing to see. Every time people come up to me, they're like, "I love Tana so much, and I love Brooke so much." And I'm just like, well, "Same with me." They're though. not here, but I'll, I'll take a That's picture with you. me every time. I'm like, "I'm not Trisha, but it, I'll tell her you said hi." Oh, I love and you. I, I never do tell you that they said hi. They said hi. No, you didn't. <laughs> yeah, you'll be like, "Everyone says hi." <laughs> oh my like, god, that's gonna be so exciting going on in the fall. So the summer you have, and what are you doing for the summer I, besides our show, our time traveler show? <laughs> I think that's the thing is I. I I want to work on a lot of just like fun things that I haven't had time to this year yet. Like book, you and I doing a show, like potentially doing, I, I kind of want to start a little baby podcast network. And I've been thinking about that a lot. Oh my God. You I so never, should. I'm not trying to be like on well or Alex Cooper and have some serious thing and a bunch of influencers. Like, I don't think that that's in my cards. Cause it's like, I feel like that's exactly what you should be doing. Cause I was like, I'm more so, that's just a lot of work and you got to dedicate your whole life to it. And I don't want it to be like a f***ing Tanacon. Like, you know what I mean? Like, But you have people like help you with it. Because I feel yeah. like you have a knack for talent, know what content's good, know who's good. Mm-hmm. You can make anyone popular. You know I what wanna, I mean? Like, well, I want to do maybe another show myself. Like, <gasps> add something completely different than canceled to the roster. Ooh, what would and it be? What would it look like? Do you have ideas? You don't have to say them if you don't want to. I do but, like, have some ideas. I think that canceled, we go more into like our dating lives and pop culture mm-hmm. and like... We kind of sit and talk like this and like, you know what I mean? And there's also a really big side of my sense of humor where I'm like high as and laughing at like really dumb shit and like do Ooh. love to like dress up and like want to put things on a green screen and like just be really f- silly like I keep jokingly calling this show the pee pee poo poo show oh my I'm god I'm not calling it that I will not name it that I, that's kind of cute my managers I think would kill themselves um, <laughs> but, that's but like, it, like it I mean it in the sense of like I want to hone into like my pee pee poo poo humor like the yeah, like stupid like- <laughs> stupid stupid sh- and, like maybe have some more of my friends on and you know I, I think Paige okay. Is the funniest person alive. I would love to see Paige, Mm -hmm. you know, doing something. But I canceled as my baby. And, like, I never want to, like, replace... I would never want to feel like I'm doing canceled twice and then people are just yeah, they're like, going to oh, go. Yeah. yeah, I still would always want to have guests on canceled. Like, I don't think this other situation would be like. So it's more like your friend base. Yeah, like so. I would be, like you would be fun on that. Like, you I know what I mean? Like it. we would yeah. dress up and stuff. But I mean, like, yeah, I wouldn't be having like random guests on it and whatever. I also like there's there are certain of my friends that I really believe in. Like, I really believe in Trevi. Yeah, and like, I, like I, so I, I almost want my network to be more like that. Like, just like a. Uh, my world kind of thing. Uh, she she has a podcast, but is she with someone. Yes, um, it's called Six Feet Above, and it's her and her like best friend now. But her best friend was her like they were in like sober living together and oh, stuff like that. And they're both taller than six feet, and they call it Six Feet Above. And they oh Trevi's just really funny and like her life is so interesting like hearing about Mm -hmm. dating as a trans woman and just everything like that she goes through but like she's so fucking funny about it and 
It, it, I just, I love it. I believe oh, in it. You should have had it under yeah. the Tana Network. I, that's like, uh, that would be a goal of mine. Like things like that yeah. where I'm like really passionate and we're friends. And yeah. like I couldn't see myself like signing like a too hot to handle star. And, like, yeah. <laughs> Why did they sign him on? Well, we always think about that. We're like, okay, it's like this female empowerment network. It's like Alexander, like Al- Alex Cooper and who's the other one? Alex Earl. Mm-hmm. And I was like, why, why do they have him Madeline Jossie, Argy. Who's like Maybe they just needed a guy and he kind of. He's like the most anti-woman guy I've ever met in my that's life. I was true. like, that's what, even on his podcast, he just is constantly like gaslighting about Riley Arnold and being like, you know, it was just too much for me. I was like, you, she was 18, you were like, I'm not to whatever, but it's no, just but like, I feel you that like, that was wild. I was like that of all people. Like, he's just, like, actually the player. And the new hot take, I don't know if it's a character, but even if it's a character, it's, like, a horrible I character. I almost wish he would just... Say it's fake or something. Yeah, or, like, just double down. Like, don't, don't... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, don't go back and forth and be wishy-washy. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, if you're gonna do crazy shit on a dating show yeah. don't try to come back and double down like oh i'm no i'm prince charming yeah. like if anything be like that's me mother yeah right you like, know what i mean just be the villain you know yeah, like, yeah. it's a, have you watched the, the new perfect match i see clips i can't i can't get into it i love like brain rot reality television unfortunately it's yeah. just who i am to the core i watched it all in five minutes and it's <laughs> Oh is my it good? God. I, mean, I know all the people because we watch like Love is Blind and stuff. I don't watch Too Hot to Handle, but I was like, mm-hmm. I kind of know all the people. It's good. Mm-hmm. We are looking for something, so maybe I should. It's like you lose brain cells watching <laughs> it like severely, but I love that. Like I just get yeah. high and <laughs> I get high and I watch it and whatever. I definitely also think I wish that I had a dating show era at some point in my life. So I like You love, never did? I never did. And like I, mm. I don't think I would now. So obviously I wouldn't now. Yeah. But like. So I love but you watching it. it. Yeah. So you're like, and, like thinking like, oh my God, like what are they gonna do? What would I do? Like what you know what I mean? Oh my god, that's wild you never did one. I know. Like I guess that maybe they weren't as popular. I really think Netflix like just didn't want me. Did you audition? No. Oh. <laughs> Like I just didn't do it. I auditioned just for every my dating intuition. show. I did one dating show. It's called Who Wants to Date a Comedian? And and um, my comedian was the Greg Wilson. He's like I don't know if you saw him, you would probably recognize him. But it was like these random stand up comedians that you would try and win a date with. So there's four people, and I won. Yeah. yeah, he picked me. You had to like rock climb and stuff like that. It was really weird. I just went for the money. If you you got paid five hundred dollars to be on the show, and then if you won, you got like four thousand dollars or something, uh, or maybe it was a thousand. I don't know. Was he hot? And, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I wasn't hot either. I was trying to pick. I feel like you've seen him. Like, trust me, when you show. But everyone else kind of had hot comedians, you know? And I was kind of like, yeah. oh, okay, they put me on this one. But he did end up picking me, which is great. But, but comedians he, can be, like, hot in their own regard. Like, I just think funny people are This hot. one. I mean, I'll show you this guy. This guy is not. And his name is, like, so anyways. I'm not trying to be, like, mean or whatever. This is the guy. Oh, f- <laughs> <laughs> but then and, then and they had like really hot girls and I was like oh this is this is more what he looked like back then he was like oh. have you seen him yeah, um, yeah. yeah. so they were all like and it was also weird because they were all like really young girls I was like 20 or something at the time so it was kind of weird and mm-hmm. he's kind of like older and stuff like that but um I was the only person who couldn't climb the rock I remember it was like a rock wall and every girl made it to the top and I couldn't even get up like one step however he came over and tried to push my butt up so maybe that's why he had, like picked me or something mm-hmm. like that he's like can I just push your butt up there I was like you can try and I couldn't get up so anyways well, I won. happened to be on reality house I wouldn't rock climb why are they always why Wait, what are, season were you on i, I thought you never showed up for that no i'm dude <laughs> shout out reality house you know what <laughs> like granted there was a season that they asked me and i think i said yes i don't not have the receipt so i need to be careful here <laughs> where i said i think i said yes and then i didn't end up doing it but it wasn't like i bailed the day out yeah. like i just didn't end up doing it um it was after yours Oh, so the um, second one. So there's three, I think. I yeah. was the first, second, yeah. Yeah. Um, Amari was on the second. But, oh, then I was the third. But you did the third. Oh, you know, oh, you were on the second with Amari. I just did one day, but I don't even remember. I was there for, like, one night. Mm. The first one, I, like, slept overnight, like, all that stuff. Oh, like, you did one and two. Mm, I must have, yeah. I really don't remember <laughs> two at all. I was there for, like, literally an hour, I think. And Kian and JC just gave me, like, perpetual, like, they really added to my, like, flakiness narrative. And I'm like, dude, come on. What I did showed they say? Up. I like, like it's weird when these people throw people under the bus for not showing up. I hate that. Mm-hmm. Like I, I've not shown up, and people have not shown up for me, and I'm just like, just like, you know. I mean, it's you fine. and I are the same. I'm very. It's fine. Who cares? But yeah. some people just aren't. No, it would bother me for sure, especially if I was like full. I'm like, oh man, I wasted a glam, but like I wouldn't like be like, oh my god, guys, Tana didn't show up. Even in a funny way, I wouldn't because I just don't want like, I don't know. They're like, because well, yeah. I've done it, so I don't want to like be that person. You and I are also close, so we like would never want to send hate to each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, but. And, like, the next day I wouldn't care. I'd be like, whatever. Mm. I'm the same way, but I know a lot of people aren't like that. Like, Brooke's not like that. And she'll yell at me, like, if I'm ever even thinking of doing something like that, you know, and I yeah. appreciate that. And I always tell her, like, 
when someone bails on me, I'm kind of just like, who cares for yeah. day? Like, <laughs> you know, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't show up and then I did show up, but then I wouldn't rock climb. People were mad too. I got a lot of hate and I was like, dude, who gives? Why didn't you rock climb? Because I didn't like, want could to. could you do it or you just didn't want to? It was 115 <laughs> fucking degrees outside. I'm in full glam. And I have uh, a cr- no, I'm, yeah, 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 no. And I'm leaving for fashion week the next day. I have acrylics out to here <laughs> that I'm not going to f- They took like eight hours. They're yeah. like bedazzled. And I was like, I have to go. I have to go do things that I'm actually getting paid for <laughs> right. um, in New York City pay. tomorrow. <laughs> and like, I, and I'm just, do, do I give f- rock climber to you like let bryce hall do that like it just were you on with him yeah oh my god and what a gr- i didn't see that one you did you get eliminated how's that work i don't know how that works what happened did you go home did you i win? think i just left <laughs> you're like bye i'm done with this. like i think i had to go like i think i had a hard out you're like <laughs> I, but i might also be making that up completely i think foozy tube got there too and i was like this is not oh, he was on it too wow yeah it was just i'm not sleeping in the same house as foozy tube ever Thank oh you. my god he yeah poor guy mm-hmm. he kind of came back and was saying you know he was going through it i was like damn he mm-hmm. said he like lost everything and all these the mental breakdown of an influencer is like actually kind of sad you know what i mean because it mm-hmm. does take so much like Especially Fuji. I don't know really nothing about him either or like his history or his antics none of that. But it's like it does make me sad to see. Kind of like the mm-hmm. Tati. Like seeing her kind of spiral at the end. I was like this girl's kind of like lost it. Kind of mm-hmm. makes me sad. I think it's so different because with traditional media celebrities like if they're having a mental breakdown like they'll put out a statement or mm-hmm. they'll be paparazzi and whatever. But like it, like think about it. Like we're influencers right? And like if we went like manic tomorrow like manic is f- mm-hmm. we would still keep doing this. Yeah. And just be manic yeah. and not know it and like you're like you're so conditioned to like just you know what i mean showing your whole going. life yeah and whatever and like that's it is just like a very wild thing i was thinking about that the other day it's like a new fear unlocked i'm like if i ever go manic i hope someone can, will tell me like please tell me i feel like i've gone manic and no one's told me like i feel like i've been manic for 10 years online you know no one like really told <laughs> maybe people told me and i just didn't realize or maybe people i don't know but i've definitely been having breakdowns online and it's almost like it's crazy because you you almost become more popular when you have those breakdowns you think about mm-hmm. I'm, especially me like i think about all mine getting millions of views like crying on the kitchen uh-huh. floor gabby hannah you know uh-huh. on, on tiktok that one time you know when that guy came into her house mm-hmm. and it's like we're watching someone kind of like be a little you know mm-hmm. and, and it like f- almost feeds into that state that mental state all the attention and it's like i think that's why i didn't mind being the crazy one online because i was like oh this is like this is who i am this is me this is my character whatever mm-hmm. and it's like so i but i was actually being manic and having a breakdown it's like, mm-hmm. actually kind of scary to see i like really all week to my friends like for the past couple weeks i'm like if i ever go f-ing manic nuts like you better Ta- yeah, take the phone like away you always weirdly enough because again I think people think of you like this wild crazy like Tana's just like so what but you've always been kind of like level headed I feel when you've had like I've, I've definitely like said and done a lot of crazy shit but I've never had like a manic fucking break no. like and like I have maybe in like real life have like, you? like I, I've definitely had moments in my life where I've had like full breakdowns and like maybe some of that made it to the internet but you know what I mean like yeah. I've never like are you okay, Tana? Is Tana okay? No one's been like that. Everyone's like, oh. Tana. Yeah, like, I just, the, I, it's like my new fear is unlocked. I don't know why. Yeah, no, that would be scary. But you, I it, personally, like, watching you. Because I'd probably you, just be yeah. podcasting anyways. I'd probably be here. Yeah, <laughs> like, just being man. No, I feel like if there's, like, a manic episode happening, because I do blame people when Fousey Tube was having a manic episode, like, a couple years ago. People were, like, live streaming with him, like, taking advantage of that. Like, maybe some people were trying to help him. Some people were obviously, like, making fun of him. But I remember he was going on all these live streams, and people kind of, like, profiting off of that and I was like mm, that's kind of like weird you mm. know what I mean like if you were manic truly manic I wouldn't want you to like come on here and be like oh my god look how crazy she is you know like look how unhinged she's getting I don't know I and think- you know so many people would be trying to do that oh for sure like, so profiting off of it and stuff like that I, yeah I think that's like kind of sad but mm-hmm. I don't see that happening because every time you talk you've always been super coherent like when you talk about stories when you talk about beefs with friends like you always are like kind of clear-minded about it like yeah. every situation Mindy situation Ashley like any of those kind of things it's like you're always even when you're talking about like the wine lady, like you're, you could tell it's like just you're entertaining. You're entertaining. Yeah, I'm emotional. Like you know what I mean. And yeah. that's gotten the worst of me a lot on the internet. But you like, control your emotions very well now. Really, you don't think you in the past? Yeah. You don't think you have, yeah. I like, feel like even the wine lady, I was like just fucking pissed. But or like I like even with Mod Son, I like look back at that one. Like I was just saying this to him the other day. It was like he, I would get so heartbroken over him that mm-hmm. I would then like be so mad on the internet and say like oh, you know what I mean? you about him or just in, yeah about, like I, oh, I didn't know i, didn't know I this. feel like i really yeah like i was so mad you know yeah and you're just like i get it but as you're young you know and now like, i can look back and like well that was a year ago wait really it was my birthday last year isn't that wild but you guys weren't dating we tried like to oh 
And that was just yeah. a year ago. Look how different your life has changed in a year. I think that's crazy. That's this what I'm is saying. the most my life has ever changed in one year. Wow, love, it's, it's wild. Like love, happiness, success, all of it. Mm-hmm. Just I, I feel it. I feel like a grandma, but in the best ways. No, it's like you a know? cute way. I think you have your life together. You have the stability of your career. You love touring. Like you know what mm-hmm. you like love, and I think mm-hmm. that's so great. And I do accredit so much of that to sobriety, which is wild. How long have you been sober for now? Like six months. That is, I'm so happy for you. And I was watching Cancel the other day, and you were talking about it, and you're like, it's kind of boring or blah blah blah. But yeah. it's like I feel like you're. I am like with the birthday going you, through it a little but you're like you can drink again it's not like you're like oh like you're mm-hmm. not like a alcoholic or anything i don't like know that. i i really i don't know mm-hmm. like there there are a lot of times in life where i'm like i am a f-ing alcoholic mm-hmm. and then there are times where i'm like well maybe i was also just going through a lot and surrounding myself with people who really normalized like just drinking. toxic yeah. wild behaviors and like i wonder if now in like the level-headed era of my life mm-hmm. i could dabble with moderation but it is Scary. It's just scary because I'm yeah. doing so good and like I don't I don't want to regress. I would only want to like grow in that regard and be able to, you know. Have you you drink Have you drinking with Makoa before? Yeah, but and how's it gone? I mean, he's so loving and like he loves me no matter what. Yeah, but I was also like in Hawaii and like you know yeah. what I mean. Like I I don't think I'll I'll never be crazy in the ways that I like was. Yeah, but it just like. I don't know. Moderation is a really slippery, scary slope Mm -hmm. and like dabbling with that. I've never been a moderate person. And I just think that if I do try to do anything like that, I would really try to like really try to like restrain myself and restrict myself and have people hold me accountable and learn as much as I can about it. And not just because I'm like the type of person who really likes to like raw dog life, you know, and just do things. (laughs) Raw dog things my own I love way. Raw dog. Yeah, right. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so much, and it's like, ugh, maybe don't raw dog that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> Just yeah. pull out. <laughs> yeah, seriously. That's pulling I, I... out is the new um, raw dog. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you're not trying to get pregnant. <laughs> I like yeah. that. Okay. I can't even believe. Yeah, it's inter- I don't I don't know like that kind of stuff. I don't have any experience, and so I'm not sure. But I know mm-hmm. I was hearing you guys getting canceled, and Brooks like you have like one glass of wine, but moderation can be like hard. Yeah. But I'm also someone too that like I can't just do like me. It's food, so it's like I can't just do like keto where you're just like no carbs, no sugar ever. Mm-hmm. So I feel like moderation, but yeah, it's hard. See, I'm like that's the exact like I have to be on some. F- up like keto like no carbs and sugar okay. or all the carbs and sugar in the world I, I can't be like moderate okay so but that's good you know that about With, yourself especially yeah. when it comes to drinking so then maybe it's mm-hmm. better like that but there's some fun mocktails and i'm not even that person like i'm not i've never liked alcohol i just don't like the taste of it but mm-hmm. like we'll go out to eat, drink and i feel like the mocktails are fun. even he's like not he doesn't care he'll drink alcohol or not but he gets the virgin what he does he's like they just taste good you know mm-hmm. what i mean so i that's feel true. i don't know maybe that that's true an idea i don't know <laughs> it, it's it, it's t- yeah it is it really is some and that's probably cider. the better idea i just like I would, I mean, and I said this one canceled and I hate saying it, but it's just like, I would love to be the person who can't like have a drink to take the edge off, yeah. but maybe I never will be able to and we'll see. Yeah. And you know that, but the fact that you know it about yourself, I think that's like such a good thing. And yeah. I feel like it'll work itself out. I feel like I just said, yeah, like <laughs> Julia Fox was like, yeah. yeah. I, she, did I want her on one of our podcasts so bad. Oh, I would love her on ours too. She's so great. It's, I don't know if she does. She do podcasts like that? It's like, yeah, sometimes I've been trying to. I'm obsessed with her. I want her I on canceled her. Did so Did you go bad. on hers? No. I went on hers and it was like really? she was in LA for like a week and they did a bunch. But I don't know if she still has it going. Yeah. How was it though? Uh, I was intimidated. I was definitely intimidated because she has her and her co host Nikki and they were. I was intimidated. And you like sit in the middle of them. Mm-hmm. Like I do love canceled because you don't have to sit in the middle. And it's like, <laughs> although it is the best spot, Brooke does have this best spot. I would love to sit in her spot one uh, day. It's like the like, hot girl spot. It's the hot girl spot. She's also the furthest back. So she looks, the t- I mean, I would look tiny in that spot. You know what I mean? Not that she's not tiny. She's a very, yeah. very tiny person. That's, but Paige was literally <laughs> saying that yesterday. Like, it's it's the good seat. It's the good seat. So it's like, I feel, yeah, I feel, but with, and also Julia Fox and her, you know, you're like in the middle. So you're like talking to them. She That's was very hard. beautiful. This is always hard being in the middle of two people. She had all that. her body out in the most beautiful way. So I was so distracted. I just was thinking like, oh my God, her body looks so good. Mm. I was, and I was, I you're like in the middle and then I have this big pillow. I just looked humongous and that's all oh, I was thinking. Stop. I was, it was, but it was, you know, and she the lighting so hot. I, she's so beautiful in person mm. and I was just very intimidated um, and she was very sweet and wonderful and, but they kind of asked like intellectual questions and I'm just like not good with that kind of stuff. <laughs> And in the, in the sense of intellectual, like political, sometimes, and I'm mm-hmm. just like, so I'm like, I didn't vote, and they're like, oh, you need to, and I was like, I'm so sorry, I don't know what to say in this, like, yeah, I, oh my god, I'm like, so who, and I said, but I'm a dummy, who do I vote for? And then I was like, they're like, well, vote this, I'm like, I don't know what that even means, so I just was like mm-hmm. trying to, I'm the same way though, yeah, like I just love talking about brain rot, girly, shit. yeah, 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 and, and whenever yeah. I have to get serious, <laughs> it takes like, I think you and I also like 
it takes more because you're you're also like 50% of you is also just thinking about how is this going to be received as you're saying yes. it. So it's like it takes a lot of brain power. That's why I usually try to be like, I'm just dumb. I don't know anything. And then they're like, well, that's the problem with the world is that people are dumb. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, yeah. I don't know what to say. But they were, they were, very, they were very, very nice. And I just like, felt dumb. Maybe I know some things, but then God forbid I say the wrong I, she was just saying how people were commenting that they need to get you on the mic. Oh, yeah. And then you weren't even here because Oscar's like, make sure you get everyone loves Paige. And I'm like, well, she just skipped, which oh is fine. God, <laughs> Next time, do you, like, you have to pop in. I yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You guys should do a, well, I guess, yeah, you're talking about doing other podcasts, you guys should, but maybe that's, that's what you're talking about. That's like, kind of what I'm saying is yeah. like, I want to have a show where we highlight. All More them. of our friend groups, like really silly, dumb sense of yeah. humor, like where we're la- like crying, laughing at the dumbest. I think would like but that. I just want it to be different than canceled because I never yeah. want to make, I never want to make Brooke feel any type of way. I never want to make the people think that I'm replacing canceled. Like canceled is my baby that yeah. I care about so much. So I just want to make sure that when and if I do that, that it's so different, you know? I think that's so smart. But I, what happened along with you and Jeff? I... It's funny because we, him and I, every single week are like, should we just do it? Like, I want to, we want to, but again, same thing. Like, we would just want to make sure it's so different than everything else. And I think that at the time, a lot of our content was like centered around people shipping us and that whole show kind of. Oh, yeah. What, like, I wanted to do the show from bed, like all this type of stuff. Oh, so we would have to. <laughs> so it doesn't. Yeah. And then we kind of like balance it. it out where it's like, I go on Jeff FM a lot still. You know what I mean? Right, so it's right. like. If we were to do this, I'd probably have to stop going on that and like, oh, well, yeah, you know, you have your own show. Then. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's just, it's all, I don't know. I like when podcasts like unite, do you know, pretty basic? Yes. I like when they, I don't really like Zane and Heath, but I like that they like did a uniting yes. of two podcasts. Just four people are a lot, but yes, yeah. no, I liked that too. I like, at first we were like confused yeah. and then it like, we came around to it. I think I'm still very confused, but I watch it. Yeah. I'm always just like, this is so weird, but mm-hmm. <laughs> did you see Matt King? He has skin what? cancer. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. Know. Is he okay. Oh my god, that's so scary. And everyone's like wearing striped shirts for him or something. Oh my, wait, what? I, oh my god. Okay. Like, I don't. Damn. Is he okay? I think it's like minor, but I was oh, just okay. Matt King. It to me is like one of the good ones. I've always said that. I've always said he's yeah. the best. Like one. he's just pure. He was you know? so nice. And I was like, damn. There's a lot of other people oh my that. God. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Why does it happen to the good ones? Yes. I guess you. Yeah. Thanks, Trish. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Save that one real quick. <laughs> no, that is really again. I think he has a podcast called The Good Ones or The Good Guys or something. Yeah. I don't know, but yeah, that's he's, funny. They're like, we're the good ones, please. <laughs> like, no, 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 we didn't do all that. No <laughs> crying. Say that it's the name. It's either Josh Pax or Matt Kings. One of them is called like The Good Guys. I think. That's hilarious. Yeah, I um, know but <laughs> what's oh, on Matt these cards? King. That I think we hit all of them. Did we? Yeah, you can look. This you know. Is- I just love it because I think it's really cute. Sorry, this is like for me. We can totally stop podcasting. No, no, yeah. But Trisha just always like writes it in her cute handwriting. My little notes. So sweet. Yeah, I what I used to write like twenty cards, and I was like, let me just not write so much because I never look at them. Because we one, just yeah, this one we hit on all of them. Yeah, this was actually like incredible. Yeah, wow. we kind of did all of it. We hit all the points. I, well, at the beginning we talked so much and we kind of skip around because I'm like I have so many topics to get to, and then I'm like, oh, I should probably like there were so many things. We missed, you know, like the small man Taylor. So like there's something, but it's fine. Whatever. People are I, I really just it. think you need to listen to that song. That was the whole end of that. Like you okay. have to listen to it and listen to the lyrics. Honestly, maybe on your drive over to cancel, then then we can unpack it on cancel. Okay. Okay. okay I'll do that for and sure. Like, just think of like, a, this, like shitty guys. Like it's just. Oh, I love that. Yeah. No, I didn't really do Taylor. I don't know like her songs that much. That like Blank Space song. I was like, yeah, this she, is my song too. No, yeah. there's this other song. Um, Why am I blanking on the name? I'm so depressed. I act like it's my birthday. What's the name of that song? I can do it with a broken heart. Oh, wow. It's all about how like she would go do her shows and everyone thinks she's so happy, but in reality uh. she was heartbroken over a guy and she makes it sound like like some parts of the song sound like she has her in ears in and she's performing. You know Ooh, what I mean? Yeah. And it's like all about how like I'm so depressed, but I go out there and I act like it's my birthday oh. every day and she- like, but I feel like you, I could see you relating to of that. Of course, like, yeah. When you just like hate your life, and then you're like, I'm gonna just put on a face for yeah, it. Yeah, like I still have to do this, and no one knows that I'm going uh, through it. Like, like part of it too, where she's like mimicking having a panic attack, like while she's saying. Oh my god, that's so intense. Like, what's that one? Okay, it's called I Can Do It With a Broken Heart. These songs, and I'll like download it. I'll listen to Taylor Swift on my way over. I'm making you a Swiftie. I think. Yeah. Well, 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 actually, we're just becoming Swifties together. In- yeah, I think so too. Because Oscar was a Swiftie when he started the show. I was like, I know nothing about Taylor Swift, and so I was like, let me hear. And now mm-hmm. I'm becoming one. The more I hear about her lore, as you. You would say like that, the, yes. the sh- 
men and stuff like that. And I like people just being awful to her. I was just like, I kind of like live for her. Now. All the lore with like her feeling. And I love, I do love the Kardashians, but her like stance on that. It's cool. Oh, like, for sure. She wrote yeah. that song. Thank you, Amy. And put Kim yeah. in the title and then said like, your kid's going to come home singing my songs. And like, we both <laughs> kind know. Of fierce. I kind of love that. She's like, like that's, in that that's totally that. Yeah. I don't know. I'm done. <laughs> We love Taylor Swift. Come on the podcast, Taylor. Please. We have guests. If we, we can get her anywhere, it's in this seat. We just have a guest draw. I just always, so, I always used to like look at you guys like who they are. I'm like, maybe I can get them. I was like, absolutely not. Because the people you have on are like amazing. Like Jake's chain and Jelly Roll. I was like, I can never get those people. Dude, I, but I'm in, I'm in the biggest guest draw in the world right now. And Same. So I think it's just it's the fine. era. At least we have each other. It's coming. Yeah. I'm not kidding. I was like, let me ask Brooke. I thought she was getting a boob job like literally today. But tomorrow. I guess, oh, tomorrow. Yeah. Because that's why I wanted to cancel. Like, is Brooke going to be there? We have to say bye to her tits today. Oh, I'm so excited for her. I like DM'd her. I was like, I can't wait for your boobs. Because I want mine done again. So I was like, I'm so excited. Really? So I told her after you talk about Uncanceled, come on ours. Because I want to get the exclusive too. I oh want to know God, all about the you. boobs. And I'm, it's our only guest. And that's the only guest I really know. It's so funny because Brooke's so nonchalant about things though. She's just like, I'm going to get the tits and I'll be in Cabo in a couple days. Like, Oh, the boob job's an easy recovery too. Especially if you don't need a lift. The girls are back in like two days. You know what I mean? That's so funny. And two, cool. and I feel like mine were hard because mine were lifts, but I feel like boobs are yeah. they're fun. And it's like giant rocks at the beginning. I love when they're like nice and firm and high. Really? When they fall, I get sad. I'm the like, uh-huh. implant inside would just freak. I, I maybe I really am a hypochondriac. I, what is scary? I mean, you yeah. do get like there's breast implant illness. I'm thinking mine are making me sick. I gotta get mine replaced because I think really? you're supposed to get them replaced. Yeah. And they like leak and you know whatever. Why don't they like shaped breast implants? Like imagine two hearts. Ooh, that's a, I think you probably could ask for it. Right? Like they a stars? Them. Yeah. Like that's like cool. Just star boobies. Get me off this microphone. No, I I <laughs> <laughs> we have to go over to kids. I love that I'm like driving over. Am I driving over now or are you like stopping? You're stopping at your what meeting or it? what's happening? We have to, yeah. Okay, so am I like oh, coming over? Oh, it's 4.25. Let's just go now. Okay. Should we? So come straight over. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yes. Well, just Trish. Are guys, you wearing this? Or are you changing? Should I change? It looks like a different outfit. Yeah. Sorry, you look really cute though. Yeah, okay, and I, if I don't wear this, it'd be like gray sweats. Like nothing's, okay. it's getting worse. So not I'm better. down. I'm down. Yeah. Um, I just want to say so just come right now. Yes. that I love you. I love you too. And Happy I miss birthday. you so much. I and I'm just baby Elvis is here. Baby Elvis is here. I know. Are they? You up? guys I was are thriving. Down, but, Thank yeah. you for the yeah. birthday present. I just paid. You're gonna gag and die. Happy she birthday. she has a problem <laughs> like us here, and I, we have to get I Bugattis. Do have a problem. For... I love buying purses. I do have a real yeah, problem. But I love that that's our like gift setup. Like I have to go get you one. That's fine. I just love purses and maybe people don't like purses and I I'm just like okay okay purses. I hope so because I know like, <laughs> that's why I, I think I like cry every time too because it's like you just know me so well it fills my shopping because I told him I want to buy purses for myself but I was like but, but I then can I can buy gifts. purses for you and that's like our fun little game <laughs> right, that's where true. we feel better about I did it. buy a Louis Vuitton purse the other day I kind of hit it and then I brought it out and he didn't I say anything see. I was like ooh it was from the challengers the one that's in day that's a whole other thing that I love that movie it's like my favorite thing in the I world. did really love that did movie. you watch it yeah when she was making them make out and I was like this is hot so hot I love it so hot yeah and like the tennis outfits I love a tennis outfit Me like too. even us at madonna in like we were yeah. serving oh, we were like ahead of our time before the so, challenger <laughs> not getting it all i we love have to do you. another one of those trips. i've been talking to holly we need to do our alien trip or something we should yeah she would also be a fun addition to our show because she's down. yeah she's like an actual time traveler yeah she does like five thousand shows but I'm and sure a reality she'd be down. legend she would just i mean be. legend for sure for yeah. sure the decades of blondes all this right. is my favorite place in the world <laughs> go and watch, thank you go watch cancel because we're about to just drive oh, over to hollywood stop it. For it. thanks for even <laughs> sitting are we gonna put them at the same time again because whoever put yours up last time was like the same exact time and we didn't plan it i'm like well we could have planned it we could plan it i don't it. know who did it but someone put it up like the exact and i was like that's kind of iconic. we could feed all the children at the same time I yeah love i that. loved it and i yeah. turned up and here's one three minutes later i was like someone was on it oh my god i didn't me. know that you wanted to but i was like we're done all the Shout out all the Oscars. Seriously. Okay. So you can watch both at the same time. Yeah. Well, I might not ever win an Oscar, but we have good Oscars. We have good Oscars. Yeah. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>